Welcome back to the Tekken World Tour Master Event here, Fighting Games Challenge, Woods, Poland. I am Spag, joined by Willy, and we are going to be getting into some good ass Tekken winners quarterfinals. Oh my god, Willy, I am excited. I don't know if you guys saw, but I rushed the stage. I rushed it. I dropped everything I had on me, and that I can't. What? What happened? That last match, Kane and Trench versus Prison. That was that was that was amazing moment. I don't know why Prison dropped that combo. Was it a hit too much? Or? I had a feeling. I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna hit, but I didn't. I didn't trust myself. I saw Prison get up and kind of fist bump. All the Polish people were like, yes! And then Kane and Trench, even he <laughs> admitted defeat. He was like, okay, well done, good game. <gasps> I'm still alive. And then well, he went in and swooped around. Yes. Wow. That was some good ass second, lads. Good ass. Ladies and lads, guys, I hope you have been enjoying the stream, but we still are not over. We have so much more seconds to come, and right now we have two really strong players up on stream. Love Neat going from up India. against. From India, going from India. up against Kokoma. From Korea. Love Neat playing Jack. Really solid Jack. I think one of the, he's one of the only Jack players here in the tournament, together with Circuit Joey Fury. Yes. Um, and Kokoma uses a plethora of characters, Kazumi, uh, Dragunov, um, yeah. Yeah, so he uses a lot of different characters and we've been seeing his geese as well this weekend a geese, lot. Okay. Yes. But who, and I do know that Love Neat does have a Josie as well, I've heard oh, that. Sure? He, yeah, Josie and Jack are his two main characters. I wonder who he's picked this time because he is going up against a very strong... He big, has big gone Josie. for his Josie! Okay. This is cool. And, I and now we're seeing Kokoma's uh, Kazumi. Kokoma's Kazumi? Yeah, Kokoma's Kazumi. <laughs> Kokomas Kazumi. Okay, this is going to be really interesting. Okay, so we haven't, I haven't personally seen mm -hmm. Love Neat's um, Josie before. This is also the first time for me because every time he's played on stream, he played with Jack. So this round is going four. to be really exciting. This is round one between Love Neat and Kokoma. Let's go. This is it. This match is to get into top eight as well. The winner's semi. So all wow. to play for here. So many points on the line. Nice duck and punish on that stream. Yep, oh, here we go. Wow. Now, Kazumi as a character is very, very poke heavy. Yes. What we're going to be seeing here is uh, we're going to be seeing Kokoma kind of just out poke Josie, but Josie, of course, is very, very good in that the as well. Low pokes, the single jabs, the down forward ones. She is. She play, She has moves like a mission, but you know those one ones, yeah. the down forward one two, and the hit confirmed on the one one two strings as well. Like <laughs> he didn't hit confirm, but he just went for he it. He finished it anyway because yeah. most people do just expect the one one. No. And there, there we go. go. Oh, Can this, hit launcher. Could this, this is going to be a comeback. Recharge. Is it dead? Are we gonna get it? Love Neat. He's not getting out of his seat and shaking his ass. Oh, baby, Kobe! Oh. Love Neat on the board with the clutchness. All the way from India. Shout outs to all the guys watching from India right now. Shout outs to the Indian Tekken scene. You know, Love Neat is really a player who can commit and compete with the best players in the world, like Kokoma, as you can see. Well, we've seen he's already beaten people like Kudans. He's beaten people like Chanel. This guy. But here we go, seven golden letters on the side of Kokoma though. <laughs> he weren't happy with that last round. Nah, he's coming back in. As he said, both heavy character Kazumi. Yeah, here we go. So tries to go for that frame trap with the jab oh. into the magic four. Not working though. Excellent block punish and uh, punish. Here we go, using that fly, keeping him at that wall. Using that back two. One of the best moves that Kazumi has, that homing mid. Very, yeah. very quick and safe. Oh, baby Tigers. There we go, again, Tiger. Do it again. Wow. Two rounds. And Relatively in, quick for uh, Kokoma. Yeah, definitely. Very quick two rounds there for Kokoma. We're making a comeback here. Big whiff on the butterfly edge. Nice wow. punish there from Kokoma. Good block. Could have low parried or... Yeah, I don't... Can you punish that? That punish. string from Josie? I mean, a lot, a lot of things about Josie are interesting. You need to be mm -hmm. able to duck uh, certain strings that she has that put her into that switch stance. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be put into mix-ups. Wow. And also the crouch dash uh, mix-ups uh, from Josie. Oh also man, real dangerous. Very <laughs> dangerous. But look at Kokoma right now. His wow. movement is on fleek. He is stepping all around her. Josie not in a good position here, has no. to make a massive comeback, but Kokoma's defense. A rage drive. Oh! Do it, and there it is. Got hit by the second hit. Not After big damage though. Yeah. No. One plus two throw. Broken. Doesn't look too good. They didn't whiff punish the back two. Yeah, that was a huge whiff on the back two. Yeah. That could have been oh, this. And that's guaranteed. Yes. Excellent. First game for South Korea's Kokoma. Yeah, taking a swig of water as well. Look, yeah. Kokoma. He's still sp unsponsored, I think. Yeah. He but doesn't have a team. Maybe he enjoys being unsponsored. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he enjoys it, but look. Kokoma, Koreans are not going to give you many opportunities to punish them. But no. when those opportunities come, you must take them. Yes. You must Absolutely. take them. Absolutely. Whether it be a whiff, whether it be something that you can punish optimally, they will give you some opportunities. At the end of the day, they are only human. But here we go, Fawley. It's a first to two. Yeah. This match, if Kokoma can win it, will put himself in a very good position in winner's top eight. Yeah. 
I mean, like you said, it, it, it's what divides good players from great players. Yep. And we'll see if Lovnit can uh, make a comeback with that. And he's sticking with Josie, um, Josie yeah. as well, yeah. You see, it went to character select and we're again to the same stage. Wow. It's, it's a curse <laughs> that's happened all this <laughs> during the whole stream, yesterday and today. Wow. Yeah, so I, I, want, I, I think I know why he's gone with Josie. Of course, look at this. Rush down, wow. though. No, don't Last step. Rescue. Two times in a row. We're keeping it 2D, baby. Nice, oh, hop kick. Seven golden letters. Woo! Lovely. Right back at you. India's lovely. Kokoma. Yeah. Looking real sharp right now. Okay, so down back four. Now well, okay, nice okay punish. punish. Good. Yeah, Josie's 10 frame punishes are really, really good. Yeah. I think he uh, is the mo most damage outside of the 2D characters. Yeah, so forward, forward, forward. Not falling for a heavy goal. Switch stance. Yeah, counter hit uh, four. Yeah, you have to be careful when you're using Josie's switch stance. You can get counter hit out of it if you don't go for the one. Oh, that's a wall. Look at the damage. Oh! That's going to hit. Wow. Tried to go for the unblockable throw and nice reaction from Lovely, but he still has a ways to go. It's not yeah. over by any means. Still got more than half of his life left. Yeah. Nice what duck. a duck! And good interrupt. I didn't know you could interrupt that. Yeah, it's, it's, if you block that move, it's mm -hmm. completely punishable. Oh, I see. Here we go. Nice down back three. Kokoma with the pokes. Nice sidestep. Didn't punish on it. Working on it. Just poking him down slowly, yeah. bit by bit. Kazumi, that kind of character. What great movement. Yeah. You don't need the huge launch, Kazumi, because... Oh, and there we go with the hop knee yeah. into the screw. He had a read on it. You know, you know from the switch stance, you can actually go into crouch dash. Mm -hmm. Kokoma was completely ready for it. Exactly. Good duck, no punish on it. Oh, look at this. Have you got set oh, point now oh, oh. for Kokoma against okay. Lovely? But can Lovely make the comeback? Yeah, it was again a, a relatively quick round. Yeah. I feel like Kokoma just getting used to his timing. Mm. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Power crushes. He's got a good power crush as well. It is, yeah. It's a high power crush. Safe. Nice duck, no punish. Oh, I think he tried to go for the show. You can sidesteps the down for two. Oh, man. Lo Lovely is swinging a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Fishing for it. Counter it hit. This could be it if you get to the wall. Ikinasai. Oh. Oh. oh! No, it doesn't. Crash S3. Oh, nice oh my block. god, no punish. Oh, the aggression. What's he going oh, to do? Oh, that's that too. No, it's still not over yet. Nice block. Oh Let's my punish. god. Wow. Love needs. Risked it all. He tried everything there. He risked it all on that low on the end. Yeah, I mean, that low... So what, greedy, actually. The down 4-3-2 yeah. is such a good option to finish because if you try to punish the 3, the 2 will hit you. That's uh, why he did it. He got I, punished before, but Kokoma is such great mind to just know that I'm going to just be patient and block. Block and then just punish. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's just Kokoma's experience showing how much he's played this game and his deep understanding of the character matchup. Kokoma moves into top 8 winners. Sam, he's lovely going into loser bracket. Still not out of it. No, he's not. Well, what a match. Yeah, Lovely no. definitely oh. showing how he can go up against these strong players. I think our next match is going to be is the first match that we're going to see between two Korean players. Oh. Because all the Korean players were seated so high in the tournament, they are going to face each other in top 16. We're finally going to get a Korean in loser bracket. How about that, ladies and gents? A Korean in loser's bracket. So who have you got, Willie? We've got, if I can see it correctly, first on low high. This is Kudan. Kudan. UYU. 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 Shout out to UYU and shout out to Fursan Esports. Yeah. Supporting They're their boys. Sending them all over the world. I mean, Kudan right. has been. Been in a slow. He didn't look so hot yesterday, let's be honest. And this whole world tour this, this season, he hasn't been looking so hot. But today. He played versus Kenyon Trench, and you know what? His his movement was on fleek. His yeah, his electrics, the electricity was working. He paid his bills. <laughs> you <laughs> That's know? a good way to say. Yeah. It, it was very. It, well, he played very convincingly. I hope this can make his comeback in this uh, Tekken World this season two. Yeah. Because you know he didn't have really good results this season. You know, in the past we've seen certain players mm -hmm. have just need to had that one win. Just have to have that one strong win in order to give them momentum for the whole entire season. Exactly. We saw Tishuman last year. He had a very, very bad start to the, f to the Tekken World Tour. Mm -hmm. He wasn't in any top eights. He was always ninth or s top 16. Mm -hmm. But then he got that one win in Italy in the Challenger event, and that gave him the momentum to go on and just win everything. Yeah. And, and maybe that's what Kudans needs. He just needs that one win. And if he can beat someone as strong as low high, maybe that will give him the confidence needed to go on and win the entire event. Yeah, I, I agree because... It won't be easy for him because, you know, uh, Lohai is one of the best best Shaheens in the world. He's, he he's is the, the best. He is yeah. the best Shaheen in the world. And we've been seeing from Lohai, personally, like I said yesterday, I had a feeling this guy would get into the Grand Finals. I think his movement has just been too good. His punishment has been proper on point. 
But let's see though, Kudans though, UYU Kudans versus Lohai, top level tech in here. Here let's we go. go. That's a wall. We're on the Jimmy J translation as well. Oh, oh my because god. Because combo conversion, that's because of the angle at the wall, gets the other wall. What's he gonna do next? Nice, back four and goes wow. for the Oki. Lohai not falling for it, but mm -hmm. Kudans with a massive life lead. They both ducked at the same time. Counter hit for. Can he take it to the wall? I think. Oh no! no. Bit too far. I don't know what happens. Okay, but Lohai making a comeback though. He's got rage yeah. as well. Gotta, gotta watch out for that rage drive. He likes to do that. Oh, the and back too. <laughs> that's so good. Nice duck on that rage drive. Yep. I didn't know why he hit. Com he didn't wait to hit confirm it. Maybe a little bit of nerve showing here from Lohai playing against Senpai yes. Kudans. <laughs> you know this guy's respected, man. Yep. He's I been around in the scene for a long time. He's been around uh, the scene. I think he's one of the oldest players here at the tournament. Man, as well. he's been playing for a time. He's been he's been a top level player for a long, long time. Maybe Lohai showing a bit too much respect here. Look at this though. Wow. Another quick round. <laughs> wow. Kudans. So good. Nice. 18 seconds. Look Second at that. round. Kudans waking up now, lads. Let's see, Loha can make something happen. Maybe confirm the down back two once if he wants to use it. Yeah. Better use of movement, a lot, a lot more lows. Yeah, like that you said. That sound tree is really good. Yeah, like you said earlier, uh, low high's play style seems to be just very, very poke heavy. Mm -hmm. Wants to like, you know, don't, don't want to take too many risks, just like break you down bit by bit. Yeah, he doesn't need fancy schmancy combos. Just a down for one, a simple jab or a low poke, a snake tree. That's all he needs. And that's yeah. what Shaheen is good at, but goes oh. for that rago hop kick. Excellent. The Q dance. Doesn't mess with him. Yeah, just 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 slowly yeah. chipping him down with those down threes. But if, mm -hmm. if that gets blocked, it's not going to be good news for him. Oh, there we go, ducking, him. ducking. Scared of that hell sweep. Oh. Kudan's of course known for that hell sweep. Ducking again. Yeah. Willie. Well, I don't know what he's seeing. We got a duck. What is he thinking? We got a duck. Nice. nice duck. Very <laughs> duck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so good. Oh, tried to go for the side step down for two. It was a bit too late. Oh, Four seconds left on the clock. Oh, oh low high. Forward. That's what, that's what I said, just pokes, simple pokes. Staying alive. But he, he likes to use his hop kick as well. Normally he can time them really well against the European players. He used it re relatively good, but here, wow. Yeah. Huge electric here from Qdance exactly. going through the wall. Back, oh no, goes wow. for the down one. Yeah. Oh my god, seven golden letters, ladies and gents, Qdance. Yeah. Looking strong in this set right now, and it's only first to two, Willy. I think he's going to make a comeback. Maybe it might be him in the finals. Hey, man, you know, I've, I've, I've want to, see, I want to see Kudans do well. This is our defending champ. We can't have him not doing well. No. Is this a tournament where he's gonna break out and say, do you know what? I'm back. I am back. Who he, forgot, Mabi? Who said I was bad? He's at least already in the top 16. Just a couple matches, top eight. He, he might do it, but he's. It's still got to be. Uh, it's still a long road ahead for you. Yeah, yeah, still a long road ahead. We've got so many strong players in the, in the winners bracket, and he still has to go through low high. It's not over yet. No, low high. Sticking with Shaheen. And of course, and of course, we have to go to the stage. It has the to be this stage, right? At night with the the best soundtrack of the whole game of the Tekken series of of, of music, any of any game of Just music in general or music, yeah, or sounds. Yeah, yeah, better than better than Taylor Swift and all these. What um, I don't know what is I don't know what people listen to nowadays. Let's get into it. Here we go. Round two. Oh, float the mouse. One, nice. one, two. One, one, two. Could have gotten something better. There's the hell sweep. He's so scared of it. That's why he twitch ducked and got hit by the up forward force. Yeah, that is the mix up there. Mm. Oh, 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 but. There we go. I don't. <sighs> I think he it would wall a uh, wall break and he could do another. Yeah, that combo. would have been the optimal punish. But of course, on this stage, you do have really, really weird angles. That's oh, the walls I need to. Oh, is this gonna be it? Yes. Wow. Okay, Kudan. Tremendous amounts of damage out of that. Uh, With the momentum uh, right now. Yeah. Electric. Electricity. Man, it just like look, look, looks like Lohai just having trouble breaking down Kudan, trying to find an opening. It's just not being given to him. Yeah, the thing is, he wants to poke him to death, but then he has to come up close, and he doesn't want to be close because of that, of the hell sweep. <laughs> Take it to the wall, sir. Wow. To the window, to the wall. Oh, nice. Wow, good punish. What's the, this is not oh. looking good for, for Lohai at all. Lohai. Okay. What is he doing? What is he thinking He right needs now? to harness his Quan. You know what to do, chat. His Quan against Kudan. Yes. Front front two. Electricity. Qdance makes good use of those electrics and... Uh, oh, what what, is, what he doing? is that? Oh my god. Why did he go for the on buckle? Maybe it wasn't his misinput. It could have been. Okay. Man, Kudan's movement oh. looking so good right now. Every time Lohai wants to come in, he gets hit by something. Either it's a poke or it's a hell sweep. Yeah, I think the, the breakout thing here is that Kudan's movement is just looking too solid. Yeah, it's too crisp, as you said. Oh! Yeah, he risked it all with that. Yeah. No punish. Okay, down three. Going under, underneath. I like that. Okay, I want to see a bit more down three. Oh, oh my god, my what's he god. doing? 
One more hit for Kudans. Kudans on point with punishes on the hop kick. Being really patient though, doesn't have to overextend. Yeah, but we're almost running out of time. We got 10 seconds left. Oh, and the 4 4 2. Wow. Two quick games yeah. for Kudans. Ooh, you Kudans. What happened with Lohai there? He got, he got demolished. Yeah, I mean, it was just the superior movement and the amazing timing. Yeah. Koreans always talk about timing. When you talk to them about it, the matchups, it's not just about how good a matchup is, it's about how good your timing is. And I think Kudans on the day, his timing was just a little bit better. Yeah, he had excellent defense. And he just waited until the right moment to go in. Lohai couldn't do anything about it. You know, he tried to go in, but he always got hit by the, the hell switch. It's like you said, he, he, Lohai this whole weekend has been timing his hop kick so well. But did he even hit a single hop kick? I, I think, think they were all, all blocked. No, they were all blocked and punished. And punished. More, more importantly, punished correctly. So Kudans, you are you Kudans moving into top eight. And it, Lohai, what a beast to be in the loser beast. bracket. It might have been different if he picked Law. Uh, just saying, you know? I'm just saying. Mr. Naps says he's a top tier character, so yeah. maybe. Uh, hey, he must know what he's talking about. He's Mr. Yeah. Naps, man. But he's still in the tournament. It was still winner side action. Um, you still got a shot in the, the losers. Yeah. And now, ladies and gents, I think this is the match that you have all been waiting for. This is the match that I've been excited to see. Oh, who Rocks. Who, who's not? Rocks, Dragon Knee. And who is he going up against? None other than USA's Joey Fury. There he is, lads. Wow. Look at him. The Korean killer. The Korean killer. Yeah. It looks he, like, okay, look, the he, Koreans, they want to get their revenge. Yeah, they, they want to get their revenge. He, but Joey Fury. Uh, what, at what event did he defeat JDC? It was at Combo Breaker. At Combo Breaker, yeah. where he played a really convincing and aggressive ball against JDCR. JDCR didn't know what to do. It looked like he was, yeah. He, he, he looked like he was stuck. He didn't know, he didn't yeah. know quite what to do. And yeah. I think Joey Fury, it, it was just his confidence. Look, a lot of people, when they play against Koreans, they doubt themselves. But Joey Fury is not like that. This no. man is oozing in confidence. You can see it coming out of him, mate. It's crazy. This guy is so confident. And I, I don't think he's going to play the same versus Nii as well. No, but Nii is a different kind of beast. Oh, yes. Yeah. Especially this season. Hell yeah. yes. He's been, uh, he's been uh, so good. He's been winning tournaments left and right. I think he won four or five tournaments. And the other tournaments, he was second place. So he was always in the grand finals. Yes, he's always either in grand finals. He's, he's either in, he's always been in grand finals, but he's been <laughs> winning pretty much everything. Yeah. This guy has just turned up this season. So and this it, is the guy to beat. And it's the most predictable choice to win this tournament. Yeah. I mean, everyone's prediction is going to be me. But if there is a certain person from the West who I think can make the upset... It's board, Circuit Joey Fury. Indeed. Who's he going to go for, though? Is it going to be Jack or is it going to be that Paul? Oh, Looks Jack. like he's gone for Paul. And what? Hey, Hachi? Hey, Hachi? I thought if he would play uh, a, a Mishima character... It would be would Devil Jin, right? Devil Jin. Or, or Kazuya. He played Kazuya as well before. But not Ehachi. This not is not Hachi. what we were expecting. Not at all. And you know what? We we always know that Ni is a, is so exciting to watch him because you never know what he's going to pick. Yeah. And this time he's picking the Mishima that a lot of people have said is probably the least viable Mishima in tournament play. But look, with Ni, he can make anyone work. I wonder why yeah. he's chosen this. But either way, Heihachi versus Jack, USA versus Korea. Let's get hype, ladies and gents. Ni versus Joey Fury. Let's go. Let's go. Round one. So here we go. Yeah. Here we go, folks. I still, I'm still not sure about why Ni picked uh, Hachi. Well, look at What's that. I mean, let's use? just talk about Hachi for a little yeah. bit. That up four, three, four that he has just used, plus on block. Jack can't really do much about it, and he has to hold it. Oh, you I know, uh, we have a, a really strong Hachi player mm -hmm. in, in Sweden called Cyrox, Cyrox. and he is Shut really up. comfortable in the Jack matchup with Hachi. And I think that might be one of the reasons that uh, Ni has gone for this uh, character. Well, it's working out really well. You see, he's got a tremendous life lead. Yeah. Joker, Joey Fury got to make a miracle. But you know what? If miracles can happen, this man can bring him out. He has been making so many sick comebacks, and he's got rage oh, now. I agree. Reju. Rage. Oh, and the down for one got punished with the down for one two. Yeah, down for one two. A solid, solid punish for that down for two uppercut. Yes. yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice duck. Oh, four, three, four, That's like exactly you said. what we were talking yeah. about. And the counter hit front three going towards the wall. What's yep. he going to do as follow up? Oh, oh the dead fist. So sick. I like Damage. his animation of the dead fist more than Paul's. Yeah, and again, you know, down forward one, two, only being minus 13. Mm -hmm. Jack will not get a huge punish on it. So yeah. it's a lot of reward for me, but not as much reward for, for Joey for punishing it. Mm -hmm. One plus two throw, broken though. He has, he has this wall pressure. Down back one, down back one, chopping him away. Now backing up. 
Final fight opening uh, in the poke. One one. Doesn't hit confirm. And off four. Three plus four. Maybe that's why he used it three times. Yep. Two times to his effect. You know, even if he gets blocked, Lee has the advantage. That's mm -hmm. one of the things about that move. It's super, super good versus Jack. Jack being a big booty character. He can't really <laughs> run. He can't really uh, move laterally against it. Big booty. He's character. got that big booty. He, he is. He is. Look at and his arms are also really big. Yeah. So yeah, knee using that down forward one. Oh, could have hit confirmed that string, just one, one, two. Yeah, yeah. Joey Fury slowly working knee towards the wall, but he gets out of there with that forward uh, three knee. Mm -hmm. Knee using that knee. Okay. <laughs> Kappa. All right. Joey Fury trying to find wing down back one. The low pokes are working, but oh, he's scared to go in because he doesn't want to get hit by an electric. Yeah, and the down forward one is something that JDCR himself uses so good in keep out. And that knee was using it as well. Swift. Oh man, 17 okay. seconds left on the clock, not much time. No, what can you do? Plus 24. Joey with a small life lead, I think, or it might just be even it's on It's 10 health. seconds left. Oh, big win! In that halfway. Yeah, there we go. Oh, One more chops. time. Lamp chops. Five seconds. Lamp yes! Plus. Joey wow. Fury with the, with the round. Wow, nice block punish, good reactions. Joey Fury showing why he's one of the best in the world right now. Look at the damage. <laughs> Look at the damage. He's going, the using, damage. That, using that um, forward 3 plus 4 to go under the highs. Mm -hmm. Good low parry by Nii. Got a bit of damage out of that. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this defense Joey from Fury, Joey Fury. Abusing that string. Nii not, no, not sure what to do against him. Yeah, but he's got a life now. No need to overextend oh, no. like that. No one, way, one, sir. Two. Excellent. I wonder why he doesn't punish with an electric. Just wasn't ready for it. Oh, okay. Could be. Oh, man. A big whiff on the wall standing four. Yeah. Joey Fury, though. Playing patient. Yeah. Nice low. That is safe on block as well. Yeah, Hachis. He's got rage. You know, his rage I can do a tremendous amount of damage. Oh, oh chopping hit. away, chopping away. One more hit. One more do hit. it. Nice low pair. Is this going to be oh, it? He no. dropped. He dropped the hell sweep. That was a miss input. Okay, wow. you can't whiff now, Joey. We still has to remain composed. Ten he knows he left. has the advantage. No need to Nine. overextend. Keep him out. That's all he has to do. Five seconds. Joey. He has to do something. Joey! Got a hit. Front three. Here we go. One second left. Joey Fury isn't happy with that. Knee looking super composed. What is Joey Fury going to do next? I think, look, the jack was working. There's no need to change character. No. That was unfortunate. See, what he was trying to do there is backdash and keep him out with the down forward ones. He was using his moves to keep uh, Nii out. What I think he should have done is maybe just use his movement and force Nii to come in. I don't know, because he got counter hit. That last, that last round could have gone to anyone. He could have. There was only no. one second left on the clock. One really. second left. He, he could have just backdashed and stayed away, but he wanted to close out the round. He, he did, yeah. yeah. Well, you don't want, keep, don't want to keep a beast like Nia alive, but no, that was very no. clutch. Jack could, that definitely could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. Joey no. looking really strong and composed. Doesn't seem too phased. No, you, you don't have to be. No, if you play a tournament, you don't have to let it phase you. If you even if you lose, you just got to battle through it. Yeah, absolutely. Battle through it, I'm sorry. But here we go. First to two, though. It's only first to two. It's like a world tour. It's still winner side action, but still a lot on the line. A winner lot. gets into top eight. Top eight. Winner, top eight. Winner will get into top eight. So yeah. we're from the one plus two throw. And here we go. We're in the Saudi Arabia. Yalla Habibi. I love this How do you pronounce the name? Souk? Souk. 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 All right. Cool. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> one, 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 two. Nice punish. One, one, two. There again, the up four, four, three, four. Yeah, and that up four, three, four is super good because not only will it go under lows, but it gives advantage as well. But Joey Free not respecting it at all goes for the nope. uppercut. Weird angle at the wall, plants the seeds. What's going to be the follow up? Dashing in front of his face, low poke. There we go, Joey, looking strong now. Mm -hmm, he does. Look he's just ducking in his face. Him. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're so fiery, but now he's Joey. against the wall. Oh, that's boot. That's boot. boot. Okay, he's Not got working. the plus frames at the wall. What's he going to do? Plus frames again. Plus frames again. And see, and this is the thing about uh, Heihachi. What can he do at the wall? There's only a heavy hitting Oh, no, he big whiff. Oh, he whiffed. 10 seconds left. Carry it for three, maybe, yes, maybe no, maybe oh, rain, no. maybe snow, we don't know. Oh! Three no! seconds! Oh my god! Rock. Here we go! Rocks, dragons, knee! It looks like every time Joey has a life lead, he just chills. He's chilling like a villain, and it's not working for him. Oh my god. All right, nice float out of the air. That is one option to against that up four three, nice float. Yeah. Two jab working well. Two jab is a really good jab, just to get, it, to get out of pressure. Like, it's a really don't come in, don't come in. Yeah, Keep out too. A really good defensive tool and offensive tool uh, for Jack Seven. Mm -hmm. Joey Fury. Oh. Right. A bit too far away. Okay, Joey again with a good start to the round. I just looked at knee, always steals it back. Man's a thief. Now he's now he at the wall. Gets out with a hunting out, how do you call it? Or up four, three, four. It's yeah. like the same as uh, as one, yeah. 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 Might as well call it the same. 
Oh, oh got nice a hit nice in trade. favor of Joey Fury. Is that a wow? Weird angle. What's he gonna Another do? Another weird angle. The Wolves don't like him today, boy. No, we don't. But Lee not going for those whip punishes, though. Yeah. Oh, finishes the string from the down for one, two. Still got a lot of damage. Five seconds left on the crowd. Oh, no Cross break. Gonna, no break on the one plus two. Only oh. a couple seconds left. Oh, my God. See, that's what uh, Joey Fury would have, should have done last game. Yeah. But here we go, though, set point here for Lee. Man, all of these matches, Joey's had such a strong start. Exactly. Is, and again, with a launch for the forward, forward, one plus two. It should go to the wall. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, no, goes for the Okizemi. Nice, plants the seeds. Another strong start. Can Joey finish it this time, though? That was 50% life. Just gone right there. 1-1-2. One, one, Hit confirmed it. Go on, son. Finish the string. I don't think okay, that's nice. punishable. Look at this. Knee slowly <laughs> working his way back once again, but wow. uppercut from Joey Fury. The range on the down four, too. So good. Plus frames. Nice mid. Nice oh. low bear. Is this going to be I hit? think this, is, this might be dead. Drive. No, what? Why? Whoa, why oh, oh, huh? Is that going to hit? Oh! oh. <laughs> Secret tech, Discord tech, here live on stream. First time I've ever seen that, ever. That was insane. I watched a lot of Korean DMs and I don't think I've seen that. I've never all. seen that. Wow. That rage out is crazy. We hardly ever even see Heihachi. That's yeah. probably one of the reasons why, but wow, Joey Fury going into the loser bracket, unfortunately, but what a strong showing from me. Look, Joey, every time he had such a strong start, but just wasn't able to finish it. Need this mantle too. Yeah. You know, he. I don't know. I don't know why he picked Hachi, but it worked out for him. I, I consider Ni nee as a player who uh, counterpicks his opponent. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. You know, Hachi. We saw how effective the up four three four was. Yes, exactly. Up four three four is a launcher now. In Tekken, in Tekken Tag Two, it wasn't. In no, this it game, it is. It gives you pressure on block as well. Mm -hmm. The down forward one. The down forward one with Hachi is one of the most abusable down forward ones in the game. The follow up, of course, not being so punishable versus Jack. Yep. And we saw him use it as well at the wall. Look, knee counterpicked perfectly, and I think he played the matchup pretty well. But Joey Fury, still looking strong, yeah. but just couldn't quite finish. Couldn't quite finish the, the rounds. Why? I don't know why. He just couldn't do it. It's like he turned. He, could, he couldn't close it out. He couldn't close it out. Every time it was so close, but then knee found a way to turn it back all around. I mean, what do you do against the best player in the look, world? Look, I mean, this is, the, this is one of the things that a lot of people do. They, they tend to just turtle up a little bit when they have a life lead. Yeah. Joey Fury should have won a lot of those rounds, but he just couldn't quite finish it. It's, it's a bit crazy. But right now, guys, we have an interview with James, with one of the best players in the world. Take it away. Thank you, Spag. One of the best players in the world, indeed. The current number one. And he continues to do further damage here in Poland. First thing I want to ask, some very close rounds there. Were you just enjoying styling on him with Heihachi? Um, I, I guess uh, Joy Puri think uh, I, my pick is poor. Yeah, so I'm prepare another pick. Yeah, and Heihachi is uh, work combo is strong and punish is safe. Yes. So I uh, select Heihachi. Well, you're a very talented man who can play multiple characters that we continue to see here. Do you believe this is another tournament where we're just going to see you win, or is there any players you're maybe worried about facing? <laughs> very difficult. Um, I don't understand. Yeah. Is there any players you're worried about of a competition? Ah, uh, this. Yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my condition is no, not good because one month uh, world tour, yeah, yeah, yeah travel, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I worried my condition and an unlucky yeah, situation. So this tournament is very hard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It is a very stacked tournament. He is traveling like a madman, but I got one final question. What do you think about the warm welcome we've had here from the Polish fans? Um, my Poland, uh, I visit first time Poland, so I like uh, this uh, city because very quiet city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, and everybody kindness. Yeah, everybody kindness and everybody cheering. Yeah, everybody. More. Oh, me, yeah, take a picture, yeah, so very uh, interesting, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you very much, Ni. Nee. A big round of applause for this man. He is the number one. Can he walk away with first place here today? We're going to find out. More games are coming your way. Spag, Willie, 
let's break it down some more. Wow. What a legend. Not Inside and outside the game, it's hard to not root for this man. He is such a legend. He's like He's been playing at a top level for such a long time. And, you know, he's been talking about how he loves Europe. And, you know, he recently was in Germany. And Last week? Yeah, the, the, the damaged know, Germany. The welcome he's had from, from here and the Polish fans and from everyone in Europe has been, he, he's been loving it, man. And again, like he said in the interview, the downfall, like the punishing, he, does, he said he wouldn't get punished too hard from Jack mm -hmm. using Heiachi. Yeah. And we saw that. He said the wall combos are really, really strong and the pressure was a bit too much, so... Yes, the yeah. pressure, especially the last round at the wall, it was a bit too much because of all the front force and, uh, and the generic low pokes that he did at the wall. Yeah. So, I think that's a good... He still counterpicked him, yeah. but on a different way. He didn't pick a certain character. And, and let's touch on another thing. If, okay. that's, if that's me not playing well, he said he's not, his condition ain't so good because I've been traveling a lot, I'm a little bit tired, you know, I'm old, man. <laughs> Look how he played! It was, that was sick. Uh, so he's telling me, oh yeah, I'm actually usually better than this. Yeah. But anyway, Nii, what a legend. He moves on into top eight and now our next match is going to be another doozy. What are we seeing right oh, here? Oh first time. God. The first time this weekend we are seeing Rank Chu's Panda. Full sign wow. Rank Chu versus Rox Dragon Rock Chanel. Chanel. This is going to be a doozy. And Rox Dragon Chanel picked out, uh, picked Akuma. Akuma. And this is a match. I don't know how to talk about. How do you talk about this matchup, Panda versus Akuma? I don't know, but what we can say is that Rang Chu yesterday did play against a, an Akuma player, oh, and okay. he didn't choose uh, Panda. No. He went for Ling. Ling. So in this situation, maybe, maybe he thinks that Panda isn't a good uh, matchup versus versus Akuma, not being able to sidestep mm -hmm. uh, certain certain other things, you know. But will we see him change to Ling if he loses here? Will he even lose? Let's find out, guys. This is for top eight winners. Let's get it. Fursan Rangchu versus Rox Dragon Chanel. Here we go. He opens it with a low poke. I'm really curious about his playstyle because this is the first time I've seen him live now. I was going to just stop for 2 1 The wide. twin pistons out of nowhere, but the combo didn't work. But doesn't matter. Gets nice one. crush. Gets a wall splat. Oh no, it doesn't. Here we go. Kung oh. Fu Panda. Skidoosh. <laughs> Skidoosh. Let's go, Kung Fu Panda. Oh, I like that. All right, here right we go. Out. Chanel with the comeback. All right, plus frames on that okay. dive kick. Okay. He's still got one bar, but oh, Panda floats him out of the air. Yeah, people do have the characters that have a high hitbox with, the, with their jabs are super good versus uh, Akuma to beat him out of Demon Flip. Yeah, maybe that's why he picked uh, Panda. Maybe, maybe it is. But here we go, Rangchu on the board. Already got one round, crowd is loving it. No. There we go. So, um, yeah, Chanel really utilizing that, that Demon Flip, going for the mix ups, down mm -hmm. three. And the thing about Panda is that he also ha she also has really stubby legs. So, so this really small, small, stubborn legs. So yeah, to get a, so get a clean hit with Akuma can be pretty difficult. But right now though, wow. that pressure is a bit too much. Yeah, Chanel. Yep, on the they board. Are really good, Akuma. You know, uh, Renchu doesn't know how to deal with the Demon Flip. You know. Yeah, I mean the down three into Demon Flip, like we're seeing there, he mm. can jab out of it. Can sidestep as well? No, but Panda being too big, maybe not able to oh, sidestep. Maybe but not. That's maybe that's why Rox Dragon's Chanel picked Akuma. There we go. There There's we go. the jab. We need to see him use the jab more preemptively mm -hmm. because the, the down three clean hit will be very hard versus Panda stubby leg. So he can't. He shouldn't be too afraid using that jab. No, that's true. But you, now he has to be really careful right now because his opponent got two bars. Oh yeah, those two bars of soap. Oh, nice power crush. Rewall splat. Oh Bam, my God. Bam. There. Oh, Ooh. the mid. Good damage. I like his hair. And <laughs> his hair is good though, isn't it? <laughs> nice confidence from Rangchu there just to finish it off with the mid, even though the risk of the EXDP. Oh, Shokuru. Chip damage. Nice punish. There you go. Wow, nice duck. Yeah, duck on the 1-1. It doesn't that's jail. really hard. It's a 10 frame. Yeah. Have right, we got plus frames. Nice. He's like, get that out of here, sir. Going towards the wall. Oh, we just missed it. Yep. Okay, no duck on the down forward one one. Okay, okay. demon flip, here we go. Guaranteed. The ball might mess him up here though. Never mind, it actually Splatten. helps him out. <laughs> oh, Again, to the window, time. to the wall. Oh. oh, no, no duck. Again, what? not ducking that. Right, a little bit plus. He doesn't oh, know get out of the air, man. Stop jumping. That's an option he can do. Just Ooh, oh. booty! Booty! Oh, okay, I, I here we go. That mode. Low poke. Rang Chu. Oh, oh, that's gonna be it. No! He tackled! What happened? Oh, Chanel. You lucky, lucky boy. Wow. Okay, final round here. First match. Chanel played really adaptive that round. Wow, using that running one plus two, plus frames, tackle. Even on rounds, these two are really evenly matched. Yeah. 
Nice sidestep. This is going to be Ooh. dirty damage. That was a bit off axis. Nice low parry. Yeah, Good. he's really committing to that low parry. He's, he's breaking the other one. No, he didn't because... Uh, the low wolf splat. Kind of messed him up there. Yes, he did. Again, not hitting him out of that demon flip. You can jab it. No. Maybe he's waiting for a, another up. There you go. He's using that jab a lot now. Oh, there no. There we go. Oh, no. Do could be dead. Pa, pa. Oh, oh, no. Hada. Hada. What are you doing? Backwards. Oh, my God. The Jump. head's out of there. Down four. Hit him out of the hunting stance. Yeah, he was just... He's, <laughs> He was just facing the other way. He jumped out of there. He was stuck in the stance and then, you know, down four. Simple punish. Chanel. Dropping oh. a lot of combos versus Panda. That was impressive. It looks like Panda's... Obviously, Panda's got a weird hitbox. Is he going to go to Ling now? No, he sticks... Oh, Kuma! Kuma, yeah, yeah, that's it. And we've got the sick customization <laughs> as well. The white Kuma. Saipur Kuma, boy. And we're going to the Devil's Pit as well. What a sick stage. There are no differences between Panda and Kuma, right? The Rage Art. Oh, yo, the Rage Art. Yeah. Maybe that's why, if he uses the Rage Art of Kuma... You can smack him with that fish. Pound, salmon! that does mental damage. <laughs> mental damage. You yeah, get slapped in the ass by, uh, by, uh, by a salmon. It's not nice, mate. Nobody wants to get hit by a salmon. Yeah. Have you ever been slapped on the ass by a salmon? <laughs> huh, guys? <laughs> have you ever? Uh, Let's get into it. Second match. We have Cyborg Kuma. Versus Akuma. Kuma versus Ak Akuma. Akuma versus Akuma. Yeah. No, there's the Kuma. <laughs> the only Kuma. Here we go. Nice duck. He tried to punish it yeah. this time, but it was a bit too late. Yeah, the recovery in that 1-1 one -one is pretty crazy, yeah, but yeah. Ranchu, of course, showing that he's ready for it. Again, no no jab to hit him out of Demon Flip. Like the aggression from Chanel. Yeah. Had to wall. Re wall spam. No, he drops it. Oh, punish that. Bam, bam. Yeah. Nice. Panda really probably could have got him. Oh. Mm. I thought he would jump over him, but maybe because of his big hitbox. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Panda, um, sorry, Ranchi right now, not dealing with that Demon Flip so well. If he can start dealing with it better, then we're going to see a difference here. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, try to go for that forward 1-1. One, one. You know, Kuma has got a sick counter hit, 10-frame uh, ten, uh, ten counter hit launcher, right? Yeah, but it is a bit risky. But like we said, you got to risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. Nice hop kick. Here we go. And the booty. Booty. Here we go. Mix up time. Nope. Just jumps out of there. Looks so he's much got, jumping. He's got one bar. Oh, one hit can do it. Nope. Oh, power crushed him, but oh, got out of it. Oh. Nice, Ranchu. That was a very solid round. So ducking the down forward 1-1, one, one, dealing with Demon Flip a little bit better. And he's, he uh, gets the reward for it. I'm just getting so excited because we're seeing a bear. <laughs> we hardly ever see this character. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, the booty again. Why is he going for that combo and not for a normal I think standard because, juggle? Because if you just commit to the first hop kick, you can get a juggle. Maybe not if you do the two hop kicks. You can't get a juggle out of the two hop kicks, no, probably. No, no, no. Oh, okay. But here we oh, go. Ooh, oh, we, oh, that was a big whiff. No whiff punish on that. And here we go. Ak uh, Akuma with two bars of soap as well here. So this could be dead if he gets the right combo. Yeah, he does. All he needs is one big clean hit. Yes. Which, uh, like we said, can be pretty hard versus Kuma with those stubby legs. Yeah, I want to see if he knows. There we oh, go. That's what jabs. I like to see. The jabs. Oh. Kiss me. Oh, there we go. As a yeah. Chanel, not looking so hot now. Ends it with the stubborn legs. The mask has been taken down. No walls here on this stage. Yeah. Counter hit. No, that's not counter hit. Normally hit as well. No, it's nice counter hit. I think. Oh, it's, yeah. okay. Still got his two bars left. He didn't use it last round. Nice block. Oh, wow. sick punish. Optimal it's punish to crouch cancel forward forward two. <laughs> round two is not messing about, lads. He wants this top eight. Yeah, he didn't do the front front two. He crouch canceled it, and that's really hard to do. Yeah. You know, that's what top level players do like them. Oh, but no twin pistons on that. Right, Massive whiff. Oh, nice start. Here oh, we no. go. Oh, no. This Ranchu. could be dead, Willie. First on esports. Round two ends it up. What a duck and wow. launch. I don't think the Akuma is working. Oh, yeah. It's that, that download, but it's that download, boy. That torrent. That victory was so good. He's looking comfortable, very comfortable in the matchup. Yeah, I'm Chanel. sure we're going to see a change here from Chanel. I am sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm. Is he going to stick with Akuma? No. Is where a character select? I would like to see his Elisa. Mm -hmm. The pile oh. on the prep. Okay. Is he hovering over Mastery? No, no. He, he was just rubbing his nose. So. That's not it. What? Noctis! Noctis! Yes! Noctis, come on, crowd. We want to see a Do Noctis. Do we want to see Noctis, guys? Do you guys want to see a Noctis? Does this, does Let's this. go! Okay, we've got some guys that want to see Noctis. Okay, and there's some other guys who don't, but we want to. No. Oh! What? He's thinking hard, lads. Don't play with and my there heart. It is. There, Alyssa. Okay, yeah. safe choice. Now, Willie, let's talk. Oh, we got uh, a, part, a bit of a party stage as well. Let's talk about this matchup. So, Alyssa. Alyssa is a very, very strong Hope character. Yes. Can, um, 
Uh, has good ru running moves as well. Mm -hmm. Running two, of course, plus on block. Um, does a lot Down of damage. Three? Down, Down three. three. Yeah, very. You've got a lot of good um, options to get in. She got a 14 frame launcher as well. 14 frame launcher, of course. Yeah. yeah. So, and above all of that, Chanel is, seems to be a lot more comfortable using Elisa. We've of seen course. him drop games with other characters and just blow up other people with Elisa. But this is it, though. There it is. The salmon in his hand. You don't want to get hit by that. Pow! Camera got hit by it. <laughs> Here we go, Elisa. So 1-1 one, one in the Geese Howard stage. This is for winners, top eight. All to play for. Rangju versus Chanel. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Good with punish. Oh, no. got the counter hit. That's guaranteed. He tried to interrupt it, but it didn't work. And there we go. At the wall. Full crash down for 1 plus 2. Oh. oh. Okay, What's Chanel happening? is playing so much more aggressive now off the bat. Running two, like you said, really good move. Back one, as you, as you just saw. Yeah, just piling on the pressure. I like what that a move. duck on that slide. An excellent combo. Nicely scouted there from um, Chanel, but nice jab to float. That's the second time that Rangchu used the poke to float him out of the air. Yes, this could go either way now. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see the rage drive? Plus I frames. I want to see oh, the rage drive. Oh, oh. Nice. Back one. That's a safe option. It's a mid, it's safe on block. Yeah, and no. very, very plus on hit. Mm -hmm. Down three. Okay. Booty! Booty! Oh. Man, you called it before he came as well. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, I saw, this, uh, I saw the second hit. <laughs> and now he did the third hit. Now he has the mix-up. He can do the third hit or the second one. And he did it again and ducked the 1-1. One, one. Excellent. Rangchu playing Bruce mine right now. Wow. Nice. Chanel. Not looking so good. Rangchu on the board. This is so back and forth. It's like tennis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doesn't duck that screen. Okay, we got chainsaws in here. Oh man. I want to see some bear skin. What you gonna do? We got a oh. Texas Chainsaw Massacre right here, man. This is Second Korean seven, guys. Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> he ain't letting them out. He's How not letting them go. go. He still got the chainsaws. Okay, he got rid of the chainsaws. All right. Okay, the down tree, really good. Ah. Oh, the delay as well for the uh, extra damage. Hunting stance. You know, Kuma is also really scary on the ground, though, when he's lying down. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. That's what we Small little size set to make that with. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, are you serious? He interrupted the rage drive with the chainsaws. That was crazy. This one. Ranchu with a sliver of health left. There we go. No. What do we the do? The duck. The duck on the one-one. Excellent. Ranchu is so clutch. Oh my lord. There we go. Nice block. Oh, Ooh. what? You couldn't punish that? No, what? He did while standing one instead of while oh. standing two. And while standing one is a high. I don't know. Oh, okay. It didn't work. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, the chainsaw. Look at the damage, really. Bam! That was it. Do it again. We got we go. high. Still got the chainsaws. Nice. And the hop kick punish as well. Are we going to go to a final round? Yes, yes we, are, we are, ladies and gents. Here oh we go. Oh, my God. 1-1 one, one final round. Championship round here for top eight. Sick second. There we go. Low. Nice Low. break. That's, that animation looks so weird. Like I said, it's been so back and forth, but who's going to take the last round? Yeah. The mind games are going to come into play here. Okay, now we put on the brakes. Okay, 1-1. One, one. No standing on. Yeah. We got chainsaws again. Again, he hasn't been dealing Too with low. these chainsaws so well, but there the hunting we booty! Who? They... Understand. Hunting stance, what are we going to see now? Okay. Simple low No, no, no. What were you, what are you doing? Rage okay. drive. Rage drive. You can't hit that. Not the oh, the running one plus two! And Rang Chu <laughs> takes out Chanel and moves into winner's top eight. It went down to the wire. It went right to the last round. But Rang Chu showing his clutch. Rang Chu. Wow. That was eye popping. That was, that was some sick. That was that beautiful. Was a, that, beautiful. Was a, that was some good ales. To good ass. Good ales. We, we should put that on a shirt. You can do that. Harada? Someone make a shirt. Someone make a shirt. Make a shirt. Good, good ass. ass Damn. Beautiful. That was sick. Like you said yesterday, you know, Rangchu, we were worried about him. Yeah. It's his first time out of Asia for a tournament. Mm -hmm. Are the nerves going to get to him? Yesterday, he wasn't playing so hot, but today, it's just like he's he's just found his confidence. He's like, you know what? I'm used to this now. Poland is quite nice, man. I like it. Woj. I like it. And, um, you know, beating one of the top players of all time in Chanel. Of the world. Someone that's very, very underrated. He unleashed the beast. He did. The bear. The bear. The bear. And everyone was waiting for it. We didn't see it yesterday and earlier on today, but uh, brought it out for the important match. He, he was teasing it yesterday. Maybe he picked um, the bears at this matchup against the Korean because he felt more confident with it. Yeah. Because against the European player, maybe he picked... Le wait, who did he pick last uh, yesterday? Uh, Ling? He used Ling. He used Katarina. He Kat used Lucky Chloe. Lucky he's Chloe. used the Josie. He, wait, he uses a lot of female characters. <laughs> <laughs> and nice female, but he, he won with Law. Uh, 
What? This guy loves law too much. You need to chill, bro. <laughs> Kuma. Yeah, Kuma, yeah, yeah. Kuma. Cyborg Kuma, man. Cyborg. I'm telling you, it was the salmon that made the difference. The salmon. It's the risk of getting hit by that salmon. We didn't see the salmon. Only in the intro, but not in yeah. the rage art. But it's still mental damage, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that was, I know, that was amazing. That was sick. So many good, uh, good matches. And now we are going to be moving into Ooh. the losers. Tell me about this. Go on. Is this, what I think, me is this what I think it is? Is it actually happening? Is Asim this? versus Tishumon right Tishumon. now. Both of these guys are in our top 20, currently are on course to qualify for world finals. Asim versus Tishimon, guys, this is, a, this is a run back from the Colosseum in Rome grand finals oh, where Asim and Tishimon played a very close set in, in the winners finals and in the grand finals as well. Guys, this is, these guys have played so much in tournament. Back yeah. in London for District G tournament. Mm -hmm. We played in Rome recently. Yes. There are going to be deep mind games at play here. Asim, one of the best players in the UK, going up against a beast Tishimon. from Milano. 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 Bellissimo. Vai, Tishuemon. <laughs> That's that, bro. What the? I know. I know. Oh, that. It's good. It's good. He's Italian. I consider him Italian. He well, is Italian. I don't care what people say. He's Italian we to me. We don't care what you say. He's and Italian. And the most <laughs> important thing is, he's well rested now. He is. I talked to him earlier. He's like, I had sleep. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling thank good. You. Yes. Thank you. I had sleep. Thank you, Spike. And I'm I am good. going to win. But Asim, of course, as well. He is a very strong player. But the one thing with Asim is that he always he has three characters that he uses: Kazumi, Dragunov, Katarina. Okay. And he tends to doubt himself uh, with those three characters. But everybody has been telling him Kazumi is your number one. He hasn't quite believed it yet. Everybody or you? Everyone! No, everyone has. Okay. It's not just me. Okay. But right now, he is going with Kazumi. Let's get it, guys. Losers bracket action. Tissue Mod wow. versus wow. District G. Asim. Wow. Let's go. This nice block and <laughs> punish what? Good yep. reactions. Yes. Yeah. And you know, uh, Kazumi's strength, as, as, as everybody knows, is her poke game. Her poke game is super strong. Down, Down forward one. The, the low, just the generic low pokes. Yeah, and her really magic good. for really complementing her frames that she gets off the da off her lows, like down back four. Yes. Exactly. Gotta be careful pressing buttons against her. But yeah, he's going up against the best mastery. Of, oh, almost the best mastery even in the world. But we'll see. Here we go, second round. Tishimon versus Asim. Let's see if Master Raven can do something about yeah, this. Yeah, and you know what? Um, Asim does have a lot of uh, experience against Master Raven with someone like Mr. Adamo, who plays a lot. Okay. He plays they against play a Phantom lot a lot. Uh -huh. But Tishimon is a different beast, as we saw in the lo in the World Finals last year, getting fourth place. Nice He's double on the health world level player and indeed. Oh. Good punish. Yeah. Well messed it up a bit. No low parry on that. Yeah, it is a bit of a mix up. But yeah, there's a mid after it. And you can also delay it. Yes. Okay, jab, jab. As you said, just poke heavy character. All you have to do is a good poke, but that wasn't a poke. No duck in that string of Master yeah. Raven. 4 1 is vital to duck because Master Raven is in a good position. What, what the, the hell? Oh, how doesn't crush. matter. You got a tiger anyway. Uh. Okay, here we go. Mito no! finishes the string. Oh, he risked it. He thought that Tishimon would maybe try to press a button in between, but no, didn't quite work out for him. Asim was a bit too greedy that match. Absolutely. Bit too greedy. Running yeah, two, causing running. a bit of issues for Tishimon right now. Good move, it's mid. Four, Good four, plus four. Oh, there bam, we bam. go. While standing, four, four. Oh, One nice. Two. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Goes for the normal, normal throw. <laughs> Kazumi, of course, not having any command throw, just yeah. having a one plus oh, two. They just whiffed like three times in a row, okay. <laughs> These guys look very, very nervous, man. Yeah. Oh, the hop knee. Hop knee. Oh, that's not the right combo. One plus two. two. And he gets a wild splat. What's he gonna do? Is this gonna kill? Oh, actually, Asim doesn't know that. You know, the one down forward one, one plus two wall combo is the combo you do versus all females. But okay. versus Master Raven, you can do the male combo, which is forward three, fly two. Are you implying something? I am playing nothing, boy. I'm just saying she's thick. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Potential. La oh, look at that. Okay, get off okay, me. Get off him. All right, just spacing right now. One plus two throw broken this time. Yeah. It's a good throw to throw out at the wall. I mean, it's super good. I mean, you get a you get a wall splat from so far away as well. But the wall standing two, Tishimon, known for that move. Good. Okay, no punish on the four four three. Interesting. Yeah. Jabs him though. out of the throw. Uh. No. Wow. Does he finish the whole string? <gasps> oh, got this, hit by the This could be dead. This could be dead. Is it? It Do does so, so much damage. Wow. Okay. One hit. Oh, he whiffed. Last punish. No last punish. What are we gonna do? Oh, oh, oh my God. Tried to jump out of there wow. after the slash kick. Here we go. Back to you. I think Asim dropped that one. Mm -hmm. he, he's not playing so good in the clutch. Usually Asim does play super, super solid when he has a life lead, but... Yeah, but he didn't. <laughs> and again, not ducking that 4-1. No. It's, oh, a, it's a really fast string. No, it's 
It's a very, very fast-paced match here right now. It doesn't duck the 4-1 again, Asim, and then pays for it. Heavy got mix-up time. Oh, nice sidestep, excellent. Yeah, but no launch. Oh, big win. <laughs> Tishimon. Doesn't look too good. <laughs> yeah, Tishimon's going to just be really calm here. Anyone can do it. Low pulse. Oh, oh, Asim! Shook his hand in the air. Yes, he's happy with that. Take another sip of that energy drink. I feel like Asim kind of dropped um, a couple of those rounds. Uh, well, he dropped at least one round there. Mm -hmm. um, but just showing his clutch there at the end. Just trusting in his moves. Trusting that Tishimon was going to respect the down back four. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. What a match. And like we said, ladies and gents, these guys have played a lot in tournament. They were in the grand finals in our last Tekken World Tour event in Europe. So again, it's deep mind games. This could go either way. Yeah, don't count out Tishimon. Huh? Do not count out Tishimon. Um, of course, everyone in the world knows about this guy. He's a legend. This guy's name is engraved in the arcades in Osaka. Oh, really? Yes, it is. Yeah, my brother went down yes. there. He's like very well known. And um, of course, the Americans definitely know about him as well after that World Finals performance. But here we go, guys. Second match. We've got that drum and bass in the background. I actually go. really like this song. This song, when, it, when Tekken 7 first came out, I was like, yo, this song is the one. Now I'm kind of sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, think they, I think you get that with any song. If you hear it too much, too many times in a row. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here but we go, running two. I agree, it's, it's a sick old uh, soundtrack. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, back, this back turn. turn. Now, Asim does know the matchup quite well, but of course, Tishimon, a master of mi mixing it up. Mm -hmm. Not letting you get used to anything. You know, and it also plays so different compared to other master games. Such as, oh, he got the throw, that's scary. Thing. Yeah, but that, it's an unbreakable throw, mm -hmm. but, but they didn't quite get the walk back. No, he didn't. Oh! It was a bit too far. Oh! Committed to that. Didn't duck. There we go. Oh, the forward, forward, four. Asim looking good here. Two. Giving him another uh, smack on the head for good measure. Remember, guys, this is loser side action. The loser of this gets knocked out of the tournament. Which is crazy because both of these guys are currently in the top 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Back to it. Nice, nice duck. duck, yes. Ah. Okay, so Tishimon starting to get um, a feel of these ducks. No, no duck. duck. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a mid option as well. So maybe he, didn't, he expected the mid. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Oh, oh. Wow. He whiffed punished that troll. Now that's something that Japanese players, oh. people from Japan are really good at doing, is that close range game, the, the small backdashes, the ducks and the whiff punishes. Really, really good. Did you see that damage? Did you see, did you just saw that damage? Oh, no punish for, for oh. oh, interrupts the rage drive. Nice. Good. Dishimon, evening it out. Very nice. Here we go. Right. Oh, okay, oh. no punish. Oh, no. That's, punish. Well, that's one of the things about Kazumi, her wild signing launches are pretty slow. Okay. Oh! Yep, nice oh, sidestep duck. Oh. And that down four from um, Master Raven caused Asim a lot of issue in the last set that they had. Goes for the hell sweep this time. Mm -hmm. Running two. Nice interrupt. Okay, Asim with rage now. Gotta be careful. That rage drive Nice duck! Option. Yeah, no launch though. No. Oh! What is he doing? Why? He blocked. That's oh, it. Asim. That's it. With the down for it. One, two. One round away from eliminating Tishimon from the oh tournament. He was in this position last time as well in Rome. But Tishimon managed to make the comeback. Right now, he's got a quick start to the round. But down back four from Asim. Let's see if he can do it because, you know, the amount of trouble that he went to just to get to this tournament. What's that? We punish. What? That was crazy. Sick. Off axis. There we go. Nice luck again. Why did he commit to that? No punish, punish on punish that. Stick. That's punishable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Asim, okay. he sees the light at the end of the tunnel. Is he going to overextend? Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Asim seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, overextending a little bit to try to finish it early, and Tishimon taking full advantage of it. There we go. Two rounds piece. Comes up with a wild running two, but what? Yeah, Finally, what a duck. ducks that down four. Yes, indeed. And Tishimon answering back as well, ducking that down back four. Nice. Hell Spinner Roonies. Spinner Roonies. And there's the mid option. Yep. Running two. Nice oh. sidestep. Oh, float him out of the air. Didn't get him in. Doesn't ah. get combo though. That's combo starter. Okay, good whiff punish. Nice throw break. Why oh. is he doing that? He's, he's ducking doing it. Yeah. Maybe he's expecting he, he doesn't duck it. Okay. Oh, oh the back back two! And Tishimon pops off. Fist, fist pump. Look into the air. Thank you, thank you. Thank now here's you. one of the things, Willie. Okay, tell me. Asim ducked that down back two one so well every time. Yes. But he only got a while standing one two. Because Kazumi's while standing launches aren't that good, you have to duck and hop kick. That is the that oh. is what you have. That's what you have to do. She doesn't have a while standing. Her while standing launch. No, she has a while standing too, but it's very slow. It's very slow, so it wouldn't be 
You want to punish that yeah. move. So I think what Asim is used to, he's used to ducking and while standing, whilst doing a while standing punish. Oh, but in that okay. situation, you'd have to have the right presence of mind to know you have to duck and hop knee. You have to adapt? Yeah. But here we go. 1-1. One, one. And we and now you guys can understand why we said these guys were in the grand finals. They had such a close match last time in Rome. And now they're having another one. Here at the Fighting Games Challenge here in Wuj Poland. Wuj Poland. And this is it. Final match because first to two only. Loser bracket action. Loser on this is going home. Here we go. Oh, whiff. Nice whiff punish with the 1-1-2. One, one, Tried to pick him up with the down one Didn't work. He had the spring kick hitting him. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Running two. Oh. oh. At this time, not finishing the string. The down back two. Keep it in back turn. Respecting him. Nice. Got, got to be careful for that while standing two. While standing two with Raven being... Wow. Being uh, what? Being a counter hit launcher and safe oh, on block. Yeah. Okay, punish. As you said, he just stopped. He doesn't finish the swing anymore. Yep. He learned from it. Oh, the spinner Rooney. Wow. And Might again. Go. One more. And now he's going to. Oh, that was too greedy. What's Ooh. he going to do? Oh, chip damage from the wall. Duh! The wall running to. Asim. With the clutch again. Now, Tishiman. Let's see how he's going to answer back. Yeah. Like I said, these guys are always so back and forth. More spinner runes? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe he's been working, but if there he gets blocked, go. it's not going to be nice for him. Okay, with punish. Oh, get out of there. Ah, the low pose. No oh, duck. <laughs> now he doesn't. Okay, there, now, now he starts the mind games. Now he knows he's inside his head. Yeah, using that down back one. You can just finish it and go on back turn. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, Asim punish. overextending a little bit, pushing far, uh, pushing hard, gets counter hit, and that's what happens when you overextend. You do get susceptible to counter hit. Just look at the damage. Oh, wait, he dropped it because of the, the, the angle? Yeah, the angle. Ah, okay. 1-1-2, one, one, very good. Mm -hmm. Down for one. Nice interrupt. Oh, good man. block. No low parry, though. Oh! One plus two. Catching him sidestepping right. That is the way to go versus Kazumi, but you can be susceptible to one plus two if that happens. Nice punish there on the wall standing one. Jishuman, one round away from elimination from this tournament, but he's making comeback right now. Huge launcher going towards the wall. Doesn't quite get the wall spat though. Using that standard Tishimon, Wasani 1, Wasani 2 oh. to Wasani 2. Look yeah. at the damage. Oh. Look at that damage. And, and this is going to be it. Wow. Stays alive, Tishimon. Are we going to see a final round, Willie? I want to see a final round. It's going to be, me it's gonna be mental. Final round, slow motion, and with a rage art on a rage trap. That's Ugh. what I want to see. Here okay. we go. Wow. But Kazumi has a, has a launch here. This can go to the wall. Bam, bam, boosh. Boosh. Massive start to the round, but Kazumi's back to the wall now. He wants to get out of there. Circular stage, however. Okay, good with punish. Uh-oh. Here we go. Nice. Yep. Good reactions from both players, you know? Okay, down three. Whoop. Doesn't look too good. Tishimon. Oh, oh, no. One hit away. What's he going to do? Gonna make him He's going to make him up. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What is going to do? Oh, oh, oh. Three, three. There we go. I told Don't you. I said he's going to make the comeback. Drop it. He didn't drop Tishimon it. with the clutch. No way. Final, final <laughs> round to stay in the tournament. Oh. Can you believe it, Willie? This. I'm, what? I'm going to lose my voice. Good. This is insane. Good ass taken, man. Beautiful, Come beautiful taken. I'm so scared. I'm Here so scared. Go. Four, four, three. Two times in a row. Tishimon is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. He's going to get a massive horse back. Uh -oh. Look at the damage. Go for the three. Oki. What's he going to do next? Oh, one hit away. Oh, got to hit four. Down jab. No! This might Again. be dead! Other side! Okay. Lord have mercy! Lord have mercy! One hit away. Oh, it's just like ra last round. Oh! Oh! oh Tishimon! <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I like to see. I predicted it. Oh Final my round. God. Ends it with a slow mo rage drive. Wow, Tishimon played amazingly. Asim as well. Those two last rounds. Wow. Spank. Ah, are you alive? I'm alive. You're alive. I hope everyone at home is alive as well. That was an insane match. And I told you time and time again that these guys have had such close sets. Every time we watch them play in tournament, it's always a treat. Wow, Asim. What a performance, unfortunately, for him. But he's going to be, he's going, to be going home. He's going I to be going home. Of course, he wanted to progress further on in the bracket. But hey, it is what it is, man. I he was so close. He was, he was so close. close. He was he, two <laughs> rounds. He had two rounds and only a pixel of health. And even in the second, in the last round, he also had a pixel of health. But Tishimon just too clutch. That set was so good. I feel like I need a cigarette break. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was crazy, man. Like um, we've talked about Asim being really, really clutch. Yeah, he was really good clutch. But Tishimon as well. He recognized that Aslim really wanted to close out the, the game. He yeah. wanted to close out the round. He realized that and went for the whiff punish every time. And that's what happens. Yeah. It happens when you 
when you try to go for the for the finish, like we saw Joey Fury versus Knee, he just couldn't he couldn't quite finish the round. I saw it, I saw it. But I also saw like the down back two once always got punished by Essen in the front uh, in the in the first game. Yeah. But then he started to mix it up. Yeah, I mean he started to adapt and you know, but that was insane. Guys, we need to hear from the winner of that. James, take it away, we have Tishimon. On camera maybe. We'll get there. Okay, Tishimon, you are literally shaking. That was closer than close. What do you need now to just kind of compel yourself? Yeah, I cannot believe it. Until coming to Poland, yeah. it had uh, so many troubles actually. So probably Tekken gave me luck. Yeah. Okay, so your next match, you're going to be going up against Lohai, another incredibly tough opponent. You got anything special prepared in mind? Yeah, yesterday actually I played with uh, Lohai. He was amazing strong, so I tried my best. And do you think you can take down another Korean advance further on here today? As a European champion, I will yes. try my best. Yeah. European champion, round of applause. He's going to get it done. Let's see what happens on the next matches. This guy was fully ready, nervous, but he is prepared for the next match. Plenty more to come. Don't go anywhere, guys. Wow. Wow, well Tushimon, done. you can hear it in his voice. He seems so drained from that match. But like he said, he had a lot of issues traveling, um, you know, to he, the event, you he, know. He deserved that win. He deserved, he deserved that win. It's like he said, Tekken gave me luck because, uh, you know, he's had a hard time getting here. He spent a lot more money than he was, than he should have to actually end up making it here because so many cancelled flights, but managed to get it here and he's been rewarded with a sick, sick set. I am going to watch that one back for sure. Mm -hmm. And me I as hope, well. I hope you guys, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. If you're just joining us, where have you been? Because we have just witnessed one of the best matches in this world tour, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we have still so much more Tekken to come. Guys, do not go anywhere. We're going to have a small break. Hello, ladies and lads. Welcome back to the Tekken World Tour Master Event here in Poland Woods Fighting Games Challenge. I'm Spag, joined by Willy. It is top 16. We've got the shades on, lads. And if it's triggering you, I've got one thing to say. I've got one thing to say. Just shh. Guys, this, we've had some crazy matches. We've had some crazy <laughs> matches here. Kane and Trench versus Prison was amazing. And we just, our last match, Dishumon versus, versus Asim. Asim. Yeah, I mean, Asim, of course, not happy with it right no, now. No, no. But right now, we've got another crazy match. Super Akuma, crazy Super Akuma versus DBP. DBP. Super Akuma from France. Yeah, DBP, you know. Um, you DBP know what Super Akuma said? You know what he said about what this he match? Said? He, what said, he said, he said, Pas de problème, c'est facile. Oh, c'est facile. C'est facile. Vive you know, la France. Vive la France. You know, uh, translate, what does that mean? Vive la France. No, no, facile. what the, what the, uh, c'est facile. C'est facile. It means easy. Too easy. Too easy. Pas de problème, no problem. Pas de problème. So, Germany versus France. Here we go. Loser bracket action again. Super Kuma, who is currently standing in our top 20. Okay. So, you know, um, Good, he, good he, rankings. He definitely wants to get some more points here in the Master event. But let's see if DBP can get in there. If you guys don't know who he is, in my opinion... Whoa. He opens with a crouch there, Stu. Yeah. In, in, in my opinion, he was one of the top German players. He's a definitely top three. When, when Tekken 7 first came out, I played his Bob and it was very hard to beat. Because the mind game he has is super strong. It kind of reminds me of Devil a little bit. There are not a lot of Bob players uh, as well in Europe. Yeah, his movement is good, but his aggression is crazy. Let's see if uh, Super Akuma can do something about it. Yeah, he's got a bar. Oh, try to cancel it. Oh! Yes. Got hit by the troll. He can't break that. Again, one of the things about um, Super Akuma is that... Oh, there we go. Wow. DVP on the board. Okay. One of the things about Super Akuma is that his execution is super good. So if he hits you with one of these down threes or, you know, he gets a combo, more than likely he's going to get the combo. Yeah, that's right. Oh, but a good duck here from Super Akuma. Big combo. He's going towards the wall. There we go. Yeah. Bam, bam. Pop, 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 pop. You can hear the French going off yeah, right now. Help supporting their rude bo homeboy. Yeah, and Akuma, you know, a very, very tough matchup for some. Yeah. They have to be able to deal with Demon Flip and that down three to stay out. What? Demon Flip got hit by the front. Excuse me? Just go do it again. I want to see that. Oh, we need it back it. to the wall. Oh my God, right what? in the booty. Oh, out of the DX. He just hit the DX. He hit him out of his deep. <laughs> wow. DBP. 
looking strong, not looking so facile right now. That's his wunderbar. That's his wunderbar. <laughs> That's okay. his good. Here we go, dive kick. Nice Whoa. duck while sending 2 1. Perfect punish. Going towards the wall. Bam, bam. Oh. Pa, Look pa, at pa. this. Look at the damage. DBP showing why he's one of the best buffs here yep. at the tournament. But it only takes one down three, as we are seeing here. Wow, just look at the damage, more than 60%. <laughs> look at the here damage! He still got a bar left. Here we go, cancel. He doesn't even need to cancel. That was two down threes. Two down threes. And that's one of the things that makes it so scary. You've got to either try to crush it or just stay out of range. Yeah, that's you can sidestep left, but look at this, another down three. But oh, drops the combo. Drops the combo. Down 4 2, floats him out of the air, okay. Yeah, great hitbox, you know, hitting him out of that demon flip. It seems like this, this matchup is pretty good for Bob. Like, the front front 2 they hit, the back 2 2. Yeah, but he's putting himself into that clean hit range, and Super Kuma dropping his combos, looking a little nervous here. Mm -hmm. He needs his support from the French homeboys. Yeah, the French need to, need to get a bit louder. That oh, should be there's launched. a launch. No, no it doesn't get the wall break. Oh, finish yes. that swing. That's kind of risky. I don't agree with that. That's I mean, a bit no, too greedy. B Bob is not going to get too much of a, ah, of okay. a punish on it. Only whilst any one, really. Whilst any four. Okay. And we've got final round, though. DVP off to quick start. This is going to be guaranteed. Pa -pa. Nice. Huge damage. Nice. Oh, oh my there we go. Down three. Oh. That's a third time he, in a row. He's, he's missing a lot of combos. Earlier, the, uh, earlier today, he also did a couple of those combos, but it, they didn't, didn't work out. Yeah. He dropped a couple of them. There we go, though. He's put himself to oh. the wall! This is it. This Can he might be it? it. He's gonna finish it. <laughs> France is happy. Duck from Paris going towards the stage. He's like, yeah! yeah Vive the, la France! The French are going crazy because this is the last remaining Frenchman. Wow. Yeah. He is. He, he is. is. Yeah, Doug unfortunately eliminated Yuki. But uh, Super Krim is still looking strong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wall in the stage. I think. I don't know who this favors, but of course, we've seen uh, both these characters have good. Good wall, wall damage, but yeah. maybe a bit better for DBP to be able to kind of get out of that down three range. That's the thing that got him killed. Is that down three clean hit that gives so much damage, especially with meter? Yeah, you, you, you can't count Akuma. Just one clean hit, even if it's from a jab or from a down three. If he's got meter, he's so dangerous. What's Bob going to do? DBP going to do with it with his Bob? Yeah, he has to play a little bit more compact. Try to stay at <laughs> that down three range. Maybe yes. sidestep left a little bit because that is Akuma's weak side. Let's see what he's going to do. Second match here in Russia. In Russia. Doing a handstand in the cold, why not? What a what a beast. Here we go. Second game between Super Akuma and DBP. France versus Germany. Here we go. France versus Germany. A uh, a classic matchup, you know. Look at oh, look. what? No launch punish. Yeah, no launch punish. Oh. <laughs> we try to do it later. Okay, but there a we go. A lot of people do that. They, they don't get the launch punish, so they try to do it again. <laughs> I do it the same way. when I drop a juggle. I just continue to do the juggle. Yeah. Uh, Super Kuma, you know, when he gets confident, knowing that you can't deal with his demon flip, he's just going to do it all day, all night, and he's done it here. Look pow, at this. Pow. All right, here we go. Try to do it again. Okay. Down for one, one. Ooh. And the down three. Yeah. That Does time, he didn't need that clean hit, just no. that any hit would have done there. Okay. okay. Oh, jumping okay. all around him. It's like two times in a row. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, loading up that, um, that power crush. Oh. Here we go. Now Is guy. he going to drop it? No, he isn't dropping it now. What? Oh, extending it. Look at Sick the damage. Combo. 63 percent damage. Here oh. we go. One more to combo. Catches him ducking. Gets that karate chop. Doesn't kill, but gives good Oki. And the down four Woo. to end the round. With that hood perfect. Two quick rounds for crazy Super Akuma. Yeah, looking really, really strong here versus DBP. Yeah. Only one more round to go and progress further in this loser bracket. No. What? Yeah, catches that's that counter hit. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen that move. I didn't know that counter hit launches. It hit 4-4-2 four, four, though. Back three. Okay. Oh Ooh, man, he is playing so rush. aggressive. Ooh, he's he's, he's 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 not using that while standing two one. Yeah, he's not really playing compact as no, much, you know. No. When you when you play really really aggressive versus Akuma, he gives you a lot of it's a lot of opportunity for him to get damage. Now, what? what? What a sick punish! He's got a full bust. There's no way he can end this. Oh, oh my god! What an ender to that round. Uses the two bars yep. for supercharged fireball. Wow. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, Super Kuma looking very, very comfortable there. One of the things about DBP in his playstyle is that he's super aggressive. Yeah. And a lot of people can't really deal with that because, no. you know, Bob, not, as you said, not many people see him, but he's really good at mixing you up. Okay. But Super Kuma just too, too used to that aggressive playstyle and knows all of his options against people that are too aggressive. You get too aggressive, you put yourself into the range of down three. We saw Knee play versus Super Kuma earlier and uh, Knee didn't take that approach. He took no. the, uh, the be patient, don't get into that great into Akuma's range. That close range is where you want to stay out of. The DVP, of course, just trying to play a really aggressive playstyle and 
Yeah, Super Pokemon was ready for it, man. Yeah. He was just ready for it. And I don't know if that's all of the Germans out, but, you know, um, a DBP is still a good showing from him, showing that, you know, Germany is not bad yeah, at all. He's, he's still in top six. Well, he but lost he's, now in top six. He, he's, out, he's out now, but uh, that was loser bracket. But a, str a strong showing from him either way. Um, okay. But Super Kuma moving on into the into the bracket. He was talking to me earlier, so, you know, let's see. Uh, we're just going to take it over to James. We have Super Kuma with him. Thank you once again, guys. I am joined by Super Kuma. Coming through pretty convincingly. But the first thing I want to ask you is Europe versus Europe. You hate to see it. How does it feel taking down another European? Well, I'm, I'm always sad when I have to beat another European, but if that's the price to pay to try and beat a Korean again, that's what I have to do. Now, you are going up against Love Neat next. Have you prepared anything in particular? Are you ready for this matchup, or is it maybe a case of you just playing your style and trying to outdo them? Uh, we played quite a bit of casuals when uh, we went to Kuwait together. Okay. So we wanted to see each other in the tournament, but he got knocked out early. So, we wanted this match. I'm, ha I'm happy we could do it. You want this match. Now, how confident are you that you can take him down and score another point here for Europe in home soil? I think I can do it. It, it won't be free, but I think I can do it. I'm confident. I love your confidence. I love your style. Keep on rocking it, dude. Let's see how it goes. Spag, Willie, back to you guys. This man has been delivering time and time again. Plenty more matches to come, plenty more Tekken to come. We are closing this out and we're getting closer and closer to that top eight. Thank you so much, James. Yeah, that was Super Kuma taking the win over DBP and progressing further into the bracket. And like James, uh, like James said, going up against Love Me from India next. That's going to be a very interesting match. Like. Like um, Super Kuma said, they actually did travel to Kuwait, which was one of the European uh, Challenger events early on. That was the first event for Europe, actually. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm very interested to watch that match. And now we have <gasps> Karadolf versus Fergus, UIU Fergus. I don't know if these guys played, because look, me and Fergus actually traveled together to Poland yeah. uh, in 2016. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if these two was played. He there? Karadolf was there. Both of these guys were there. Fergus was there and Karadolf. So, it's amazing to see that we've traveled in, in, you know, into the future and both these guys are playing against <laughs> each other now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm super excited for this and I'm sure the Polish people are going to oh, be super yeah. excited as well. Go on, make some noise for your boy, Karadol. And here we go, UYU Fergus. From Ireland. From Ireland, yes. A very, very popular uh, European player. Also a popular steam, streamer as well. Yeah, very popular streamer and personality. Mm -hmm. uh, getting the early life lead versus Karadol. Let's see how he responds. There we go. Also, a another Bob player as well. Yeah, now when we talk about Bob versus um, versus, versus Fergus, you know, Ru Kang has played okay. Fergus quite a bit and uh, usually gets the win over Fergus, but I think Ru Kang and Fergus, they kind of know each other's play style a lot. Oh. I wonder if Karadoff has done his research and kind of knows about Fergus's tendencies. We'll see. Oh, the back three. Wish. Yeah, very important to punish that back three. Yeah. He likes to throw it out a lot. Oh, well, not, not throw it out, but just. Hey, man, look, just, just to say how it is, all that's a good like to throw that out, okay? <laughs> no. Super important to punish it though. Have you got 14 seconds left on the clock? Let's see if Carlos no. can finish it off. No dark sides at front for two. Wow. Oh, the, the key, key charge. charge! The crowd is loving it. You, okay, usually when you do that to Fergus, he wins. <laughs> he wins. Okay, yeah, is, let's that, see, is that let's tradition? See. Or? Oh, hell sweep. Two hell sweeps. It's going to go Kang. Maybe yes, maybe not. No, he's no. not going to do it. Very, very hard to do it versus mm -hmm. someone like Asuka, who's super defensive and has a lot of defensive keypad tools. Yeah. Karadolf showing his damage. Oh, oh man. he's going to do. Like, we've seen this today, we've seen it kind of all day with Fergus. His, his movement has been really good, but he just hasn't been confident in his punishment. Beautiful, beautiful back to you. Yep, and this should be yes. it. Circus ring. Skidoo, here we go. Key charge back. Oh, no, he's good. Oh, oh Fergus! Here you go, Polish crowd. Is this what you like? <laughs> you want to see this? Oh, Come the hit can can Oh, man, you shouldn't have done it, Karadov. You shouldn't have done it. Fergus looking really good here. Quick yeah. start. Chopping away at the legs. Box. Do Homie not step. Move. Oh, and a true. Ooh, nice. Seven golden letters. <laughs> One more key charge. No, no key charge. Like that. That seven golden is enough. He, he stole the. He, oh! Helsby blocked. Yeah, very good read. Excellent punish. Towards the wall. Fergus has a very, very strong mind game. He can get in your head very easily. 50% damage. Just gone like that. Yeah. Oh, instant break. Okay, forward, forward, two. Karadoff oh. has been using that forward, forward, two very well. Super, super solid move. Mid, safe. Down two. Also, good move. Oh, no low parry. Again, forward, forward, two. Working out for Karadoff. <laughs> Has a small, a small life deficit here. Oh, catches, him right. yep, catches him out of the air. Not going to be a big combo. It wasn't a clean counter hit. 
Oh, he dropped it anyway. Oh, could have wish punished. Oh, oh, the rage drive! Oh, oh. Here we go. Yeah. Ireland, one game up against Poland. Karadov, yeah. I believe he's one of the last remaining Polish players I in think this he, tournament. I think he is the last remaining Polish person here, so yeah. The, last the crowd time. has to get loud for him, even yeah. though he lost. They have to support him. Fergus looking really strong there. Look, Karadov. Karadov can do it. He can do it, he but he's it. swinging a bit hard. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The crowd is getting loud. Fergus, <laughs> <laughs> come on, where's my support? Yeah. Right, hey. so we're going to say, is there, who in the crowd wants to see Karadov take this? Oh, and so who lovely. in the crowd would like to see Fergus progress on? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. He's got some fans. Yes. This boy Fergus is quite well known, man. So let's get into a second match. This is loser side action. Yeah, now one thing versus, to, to do versus Asuka is that, you know, being super aggressive versus her kind of plays into her hands. Yeah. Like you see there, <laughs> she has a lot of counter hit moves. You can't be too aggressive. Yeah. Go not only the counter hit moves, not like not only the can but also ooh, the uh, I want to say parries, but she doesn't need it. She hasn't needed because yeah, I got seven gold levels. Yeah, another seven golden. You know the parries, the back three, the uh, you know the forward four. There's so many moves that she has that are super good defensively. There we go. So Karadov is gonna have to try to pick his shots. We saw yesterday his wrist punishment was really good, but Berg is answering back. The, the whiff punish on... Well, I don't agree with that ender. Yeah. But the whiff punish on that front front two with the front two of the zone. Yeah, gets a counter throw. Catches Fergus pressing buttons. So it's going to ah. be some good damage here. Nice Oki. Yeah, okay. good. Definitely nice second hit. As oh. you said, the front front two are really working for uh, Karadolf. Karadolf sw swinging pretty hard right now. Here we go. He's going to be beat down right now. No, just one. one. Oh, got him back in. And the front two, Woo! guaranteed. Fergus looking I'm really strong here. <laughs> Gives him another one. <laughs> Can cans oh. again! Fergus is really in his head. He's realizing that Karadov is playing way too aggressive. He really wants the biscuit. He's risking it, but he ain't getting that biscuit. Oh! Expecting a something yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here oh, we the go. Delay. Hit. The delay, Fergus. Pop, so pop, pop. close. Last chance here for Karadov. Oh! And there it is, Karadov. The power crush. Beaten Michael. quite easily there by Fergus. Playing too aggressive, I believe. Two games straight. Yeah, and that's going to be Fergus. really, really good for Fergus because he moves on. He's here for points. He's yeah. here to make a statement. Mm. And he just eliminated the last Polish player of yes. this tournament. Yeah, unfortunate there for, for Karadov. But at, yeah, at the end of the day, he was too aggressive. Fergus, he knows how to play. You yeah. know, that plays into Asuka's hands. Versus Asuka, you want to be patient. You want to try to low parry where you can. Mm -hmm. And that really just locks down Asuka. And that's what Fergus himself says. He says, look, if you play patient, and you know you force me to come in on you and open you up and you actually low parry me there's very few things that Asuka can actually do maybe Karadov would have been, if maybe if he got in that advice a little bit earlier it might have been a bit different hey man i don't know how many Asuka players they have here but you know Karadov still a great showing you know made it made it yes, top 32 exactly um so yeah i'm sure we'll see more of him in the future like i said i saw him back in 2016 very super solid player um but yeah that was fergus maybe you should travel more to take a world tour for events Hey, that it would be that's, nice. That's the best experience that you can get as a tournament player. Yeah, you, and I think this tournament as well has been great for uh, for the Polish community in, in general to have a yes. massive event like this with so many international players. Exactly. There's nothing. There's nowhere to go but up. Really, there's nowhere to go but up. But right now we have Mr. Kane and Trench. Kane, Kane and Dench. Kane and Hench. Kane. I don't like his name. Why? Kane and Kane is cool. Yeah. Trench is cool. But put them together, Kane and Trench. Ah. But there's already a Kane. That name's taken. Yeah, then, then he should be Trent. He has to be Kane 1. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The Kane Supreme one. King. Nah, do you know what? We need to see Kane versus Kane and Trench for the Battle of Kane. Yes, we <laughs> should see that. Come on, America, <laughs> make it happen. And we have a Mr. Uh, Italian Cristiano. Bellissimo. Daniel Mado. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Wow. There you go. Yeah, a very, very solid player, gin player. Uh, also has a pocket law as well for uh, the rainy day. I want to see a pocket law, <laughs> a pocket law. Yeah, so Daniel Mardo, um, he kind of made moves into the scene back in last year's World Tour where he actually got a couple of top eights. It was very, very interesting. Um, so, it's, it's, so he doesn't have a lot of tournament experience? Or no, no, no. His what, tournament what experience say? is super good. Now, he's been grinding tournaments uh, ever since last year. But he was relatively new to Tekken. And I just couldn't believe it. The first time we saw him was back in Lyon mm -hmm. in the Master Event, the mix-up. Uh, which will also be happening later on this year as well. And he made it into top eight, I believe. And I was like, wait, this is his... F um, I was told by Grilanda, this was his first tech, like first real Tekken. And I'm like, no way. His <laughs> movement is too good. His punishment is too good. 
This guy has a strong mind game. This can't be his first second. But having such a strong scene in Italy with, with him, yeah. his training partner is Tishimon. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, uh, One of his training partners yeah. is Tishimon. So, of course, he's, he's super, super solid. Maybe he's a Korean in disguise. Hey, maybe. But here we go, though. Another UK versus Italy. And you know what? The Italy the Italians are going to want to try and get some revenge on Kane because Kane and Trench oh. in Rome did manage to get third place and, you know, beat a lot of Italian players. Let's see if Matt Ojin can do that. So is it going to be... Go on, Bravo. Is it going to be bellissimo? I don't know. Which one is it going to be, lads? Here we go. Italy versus UK. Kane and Trench. This was UK and Trench was a Hell's Gaming. Daniel Mado, let's go! What do you think of his gin? I think his gin is super solid. Very, very good. And not only is it solid, his, the abil his ability to make adaptations is very good. But he's going up against Kanan Trench, who is also one of the most solid Yoshi players that In the, the world. world has ever In the seen. World. It, it, by the world. You know, by Ni saying that, Ni has said that this wow. one is one of the most solid Yoshis you'll ever find. So let's see how Daniel Mado can break him down. See. Low poke. Okay. Yeah. Just feeling each other out, trying to find an opening, yeah, trying to read each other's styles. There we go. Counter hits. Yeah, and I think forward forward is going to be a very vital move versus Yoshi because Yoshi Mitsu is one of those characters also that can kind of struggle to open you up. He hasn't got the best lows, and that sweet flow there is very launch punishable. You yes, know what I mean? It is. Um, oh, nice side step into Can Cans. Yeah, very Excellent. nice. We should take that to the wall. Now, Daniel Mado's best bet here is to play patient. Tries to duck the sweep. That is not what you do. That is unblockable, sir. Pa, 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 bam, sprint on him. You say no. Yes, Mash the max damage. Oh, nice whiff punish. Back to two. Yep, Kane, one of his strong suits is his whiff punishment, as you as see you there. See what? And is that unblockable? unblockable? Yep, finishing wow. him with the unblockable. Yep, Kane and Trench, really good at those small, small movements, just to make it, just enough to make your opponent whiff, and those big whiff punishes. Exactly. He's also really good at blocking lows, like like fast little lows. Yeah, he's, his ability... Good to, reactions. Not only his reactions, but his ability to twitch duck really well mm -hmm. at the right time. And oh, that yeah. is what we were talking about, Willy. Th that low is... A lot of you Yoshis have to use it. But if he gets blocked, very bad. You get a launch punish. But uh, yeah, Daniel Mother, he dropped the combo, so... Yeah, he dropped the combo. So not so bad for Kane, but still working on a massive life deficit. Here we go. Poke, poke. Poke, poke, oh, poke. Oh, try to parry. You know, Jin can parry it, uh, anything. He can parry the sword of uh, Yoshimitsu. Yeah, loves to use that rage drive, uh, Kane and Trench. Oh, a pixel yeah, left. No We've touch. seen today the pixel is all more than enough. Yes. Let's see if Kane can make the comeback. He hasn't got rage though. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh my God! A flash? What? Oh, oh nice. he got hit by the string. Just tapping the toes. Danny Mado on the board. Tap, tap, tap. Here we go. Round three. Okay, cool. It, it, it's a, it's not a fast pace match. No, these no. guys are definitely not trying to overextend too much because they know that both guys have good whiff punishment. They don't want to make any stupid mistakes. There's so much to play for here. Yeah. No Ford four, very nice. Oh, just did it. And Ford four has a tremendous race. Oh, he cancelled it. Ooh, Danny Mata did react to it though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ford four, nice whiff punish. So linear that move. Yep. Oh, interrupts the rage drive. Yeah, Two nice rounds. keep out there from uh, Kane and Trench. So, Kane and Trench one, one round away from going up. Okay. Pokey poke. Front yeah, four. Good four. range, so good. As you said. Oh, shanked him. Okay. Gets out of there. <laughs> I never know what sword. to do in that situation. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and jab him and just get like zapped. Uh, oh, didn't get a correct punish out of it. Yeah. Go, went for the mid. Yeah, going for that mix up. Front four. Oh. Baits the flash, but doesn't get a big punish on it. Again, so many slow rounds. There's already so much time. And this should be it. Wow. Counter hit from Counter Kane. Hit. You know, these two guys, they're playing so cautiously. But you got to make a move or else nothing happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it can be kind of scary as well to go in on Yoshi a lot and be really aggressive because of his sidestep moves. He's got his flash, of course. Mm -hmm. And he's got a very solid down forward too, which he didn't have back in the older games. He's now got a solid down forward to 15 frame launcher which you can use defensively. It's safe on block as well. So, uh, you know, Kane and Trench has really adapted to this Tekken 7 Yoshi and he's using all of his tools perfectly. Yes, he does, he does. And he plays them really solidly as well. Doesn't take too much of a risk mm -hmm. when, uh, when using them, even the flash. Yeah. But and not many people are used to that. They think, okay, he's going to start going in with that fromage, you know, that stinky fromage, that, the one with mold on it. But he's not that kind of Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that kind of a player, man. He's not that kind of Yoshi. No, he's not. <laughs> 
Let's go. Zabasura. He likes his cheese young. <laughs> Let's get go. into his second match. Nice that. Okay. Smack his head. Alright. Again. Tentacles on it. A lot of a lot of backdashing here from Daniel Mardo. Not trying to overextend. No he's, whiff punish. He's trying way. to force a whiff out of King's range. He's trying to force Kane to come in. Mm -hmm. And you know, four four for that four four counter here. We should get a four four counter. I think Daniel Mado has realized that, you know, playing against Yoshi, you don't have to really take the risk. You can make him come to you and just try to play reactively. Yes. There go, He's doing well. Right All now. this round has been his forward foot. Oh! Ooh, range drive. Yes. Tech rolls the classic. One more time. Out of range. Oh! <laughs> he held it. <laughs> nah. -uh. Kane entrance said, nope. That You're is, not getting up. That is something that you definitely have to practice for. <laughs> Spins out of there. Nice counter hit. Oh, it was a bit too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't hit. Oh, he could have got uh, back he to one. Could have got a better combo there. Yes. Now four two, as you said, of uh, a launcher now. Yeah, a launcher now. Sprinting on him. You say boat. Do it uh -huh. again. Here we go. Ah. And again. One Olympic more. things. What is he doing? And oh. the unbreakable throw. Kane and Trench really mixing it up well. How is Daniel going to respond? We've seen him in this position so many times throughout the World Tour, and he's always made a comeback. What a parry on that! The offense of Kane and Trench. Yep, using that forward forward for knee. Ooh, a bit too much. Okay. It's always scary when you're at the ground. Yeah. And you don't know what to do. What the Oki situation will be. Yeah, you don't want to mistime it and get hit by that. No, you don't. Oh. I think Kane is looking really confident now to finish this off. Forward forward though from... Oh! Oh, there we go. This could be dead. Through the wall. Oh, this bam, might be bam. dead. Yes, and it is. There it is. Kane and Trench. Two games straight. Yes. Kane and Trench eliminating Mad Dog. Daniel Mado. Daniel Mado. Looking, uh, looking, it was looking good there. I mean, he had the right idea to play patient, but I mean, it's kind of all he did. Yeah. He didn't really mix it up and, and you know play his offense either. Do you think he relied too much on his front four? I think so. I think you know, Kane and Trench is not an idiot. The guy's gonna understand <laughs> that four four is is being used a lot. He doesn't want to four for ca on counter, so he's really patient. He'll pick his shots. He'll find out when it's the best time to go in. Yeah, and you know and take it from there. But yeah, Daniel Mado unfortunately going up. But Kane and Trench looking strong again. Like I said, that lad has been doing good. He is looking to get himself, push his way into this top 20. Top 20? I think yeah. it's already top 6. No, no, for the no. Uh, for the World Tour. Oh, for hey, the World I ain't Tour. talking oh, about this. I'm oh, talking about the, the entire Tour. thing. Kane wants to win the whole thing, mate. Yes. And Kane and Trench really on a high right now. Like you said, last, uh, only a couple weeks ago, he was second. He beat me. He that did was a, yeah. Did a lot, yo. But so, guys, if you're just joining us, welcome. You are watching Top 16 here at Tekken World Tour Master mm. Event here in Fight Game Challenge, Woods, Poland. I'm Spag, joined by my brother Willie, and we have another crazy match here for you. Oh my lord! Here I'm a lord. We got Tishimon, Tishimon from Italy, against Lohai. Lohai. Wow. Yes. Japan versus Korea. Italy versus Korea. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. However, however you want to see it, you know. Yeah. Whatever you want to see it. This is going to be a great match. It, yeah, either way, it's going to be a crazy match. Wow. Tishuman yeah. is... I mean, he, he just came off a crazy win from Asin. Yeah. A crazy, intense win that, that went that down to the That must have boosted his confidence a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much it took out of him. Look, the guys had trouble with traveling to the World Tour. We, we all know about it by now that he's had insane trouble getting here. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Tishuman for even managing yeah. to get here. Um, but you know, it just shows his his passion and his, his dedication. His drive and dedication. Yeah. But he's going up against Lohai, who really just got outplayed by by Kudans. He did. Yeah. He did. The hell sweeps. He couldn't get in. He tried to go for pokes, but pokes are so short range. He didn't know how to enter the devil gene of Kudans. Yeah, absolutely. So guys in the crowd, can we make some noise for this crazy match we're about to see? Tissue Mon versus Fursan Lohai. Going to brimstone and fire. Brimstone and that hot fire. Fire in the booth. Spin it. Here we go, Tishimon. I mean, how much did that last match take out of him? Yeah, it must be mentally exhausting. Mentally exhausting. I don't know, I would have been, I would have been on the floor. <laughs> I would have been on the floor, boy. But here we go, though. Shaheen. Going with Shaheen, not Law? No. Unfortunately for Unfortunately. you. Unfortunately. <laughs> if he's going to pick Law, I'm, I'm going to scream. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Here we go. Shaheen versus Master Raven. Yes. Also another matchup that we see a lot. Yeah, we don't see a lot of Ravens actually in general. Mm -hmm. But here we go, going for the Spinner Rooney. Yeah. Okay, that's with. <laughs> uh, excuse me. We do with know one thing about Koreans. From the Koreans themselves talking about, they don't like to duck a lot. 
They no. don't like to. They say that, look, we would try to just play poking and keep out in movement. We don't tend to duck a lot. And you know what? Tushimon loves to do lows. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to. But uh, let's see how he does this. Nice start to the round. Looks really good. Oh, could have gotten better punish out of that. Yeah, but good start there for Tishuman taking the first round. Yeah, oh. forward, forward, three, of course, minus 14. And Shaheen having very good options for that punishment. But yeah. nice hop kick. I don't nice. know what that was from Tishimon. Maybe he tried to do a low. Taking it to the wall. Yes, he Shaheen does. has a very good wall carry, actually, really. Down two. Down four. That's it. Moving. Oh, that's a high. Super solid defense. What? That picked him up? I thought that was. I, I looked like he dropped <laughs> it, yeah. I was like, nope, fake. All right. Oh, man, now. just pokey, pokey. And now he's poking away. But Tishimon oh, tried to poke himself. Yeah. And as he said, they don't like to, they don't like to yeah, block close low parry. So, solid low parry like from, low, from low high. Low Making high. all the right reads. Tishimon with the counter. He's been fishing for that. Mm. Finally gets it. That's a carry hit. Oh, no. He, he just didn't got uh, the screw tail. Yeah, that's weird. That would have been a lot more damage. But uh, low high here with a uh, low parry again. Big damage. He's good at that. Yeah, definitely. Knows when to duck. Okay. He wants to go in. Yeah, duck knock. Oh, oh, man. Like you said, Willie, his hockey timings have been really, really uh, peculiar. And it's been working out against Tishimon, but against Q-Dance, it felt miserably. Yes. We'll see if uh, Tishimon can adapt to it. Yeah, Tishimon's going to have to try to download this timing as soon as possible because it's only first to two. Mm -hmm. You haven't got long to download. It's also loser file, so this might be potentially the first Korean to be knocked out of this tournament. Yeah. Oh, could have gotten better punish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, just spacing each other right now. Okay, okay. catches him ducking. Nice down side step, down for two. Wow. That's such a hard combo. Yes. For me, for me, it's such a hard combo. When it's I not play. easy, it's not easy. No, no, Surfing no. on him. Oh, the hop kick again. Wow. As you said, Tishimu likes to use lows. And if he use low moves, he might get crushed. Might get crushed, yeah, with the hop kicks. By hop kicks. Literally, there's the timing of those hop kicks were, were great. And the low high has really downloaded Tishimon's timing quite early. I'm sure he's done his research as well. Tishimon is a target. He is not a random. This guy is a target. He did so well last year in the World Tour. Okay, came fourth. And I'm sure all the Koreans have done their homework. They are good boys. They've done their homework. Yeah. So uh, I, I would say a relatively um, comfortable match there for Lohai. Let's see how Tishimon will respond. Yeah, it looked quite convincing uh, the way he took, out, took down uh, Tishimon. But you know, you, you gotta adapt. You gotta be quick on your feet if you wanna survive. Yeah, I mean, let's he, see. He lost the first match versus Asim as well. And we saw how clutch he was. I'd like to see uh, Tishimon Trying to mix it up a little bit, let's see if he can. Down back two, start off the round. There you go. Down for one. Good poke. That's one of. Oh, no duck on that string. Yeah, the one two strings with uh, Shaheen, they are they're interesting. They can really catch you yeah, off guard yeah. if you're if not he, used to If he does the one two two, the third hit will counter hit launch. Yeah. He did that a lot against uh, Akira. a certain play. Akira. Yeah, Akira, 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 yeah. Akira. Exactly. Ooh. I feel like Shaheen really has answers for everything. His pokes are super solid. He's got counter hit, he's got down forward two, he's got uh, nice low pokes and a super solid um, uh, down forward three homing move. I, I think he's just a super solid character in general. I think the one thing that he lacks is uh, a command troll. Oh uh, yeah, he's, he's got a... Oh, what? What? Wow. Okay. Good combo. Okay. I don't think he thought that would hit and he still made the conversion to a yeah. complete juggle. That was very nice. Mm -hmm. Takes the first round. Here we go, Tishimon. Good trying parry. to go for the low this time. He's done the mid a lot and low high just one step ahead. Wow. His reaction's on point. Yeah. Ad aggression as well. Look at that! Oh my god, low high. I feel like the torrent has been downloaded. <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Tishiman's Tishiman not out yet. But he has to deal with the stone wall defense of low high right now. He doesn't know what to do. Look at him. Okay. Got some plus moves. Oh, wall splat! Yep. Other wall. But oh, but oh! What? what? That was sick! Ah, zip! That was so sick. Is that gonna hit? That's gonna hit. But Whoa! Is it gonna kill? Is it gonna kill? I think so. I think so. Excellent. Hey. Yeah. Pow. Boom! Oh my God! Tishimon has been given an extra life. Take another sip. Yes. Let's now go. is the time. Let's see if that has given him the momentum to carry on. No duck on the four-one though. Okay. That whiff punish? Yeah, big whiff, big whiff on the hop kick, but no punish. Okay, down back to you. Man, this is just yeah, such a... Oh. These guys are playing at such a close range, just trying to outpoke each other. Mm -hmm. This is high level Tekken. This is going to be huge damage, guaranteed down three. Okay, what's he going to do? Oh, oh he, they he confirmed. confirmed! On his rage drive. Look at that, that's a wall. Oh. Slide you. Slide you. 
I think that's the first lightning we've seen. Knife sweep punishment to 4 1. That was sick. Wow. I think he, for a split second, he wasn't sure if it was going to hit, but it managed to hit. And there it is. While standing one, what are you doing, for, uh, low high? Pat. That's a wow. Nice. Oki. Get up kick. Here we go. And again. The pokes are adding up. Okay, good. That wow, was nice sick. Whiff punish. I think Lohai knew exactly how to space that to the Wasani forward whiff. Totally intentional. Here we go. Oh, Ooh. caught him ducking. And that's it. The down back 2 1 to end that juggle. And we are going to a final round here, Willie. Are we going to see a 1 1? Or is it going to be Lohai? Oh. Can't watch. I'm not sure who's going to win. Okay, nice down 4. Okay. It's all about the pokes. Slidey. Yep. Sliding. And again. Oh, two slides. Oh, Look how much damage that does. Lohai sitting on a nice, healthy life lead here. Just going to take some pokes now. No big risks to take. Tishimon. Oh. What's he doing? Oh. Whoa. Tishimon. What are you doing? Okay. Spinner Rooney. Huge risk, but he has to take that risk. He has to win. He has to win, or else he's out of the tournament. Front two one. Uh, front one three, excuse me. Oh, oh my god! god. Again. Again! No! No! Angle! Yes! No. Did he block? Did he press the button? He blocked he it! He oh. blocked it! Tishimon <laughs> with the clutch again! How many times is he gonna do this? Master clutch! Master of clutch. What? Master? Tishimon! So guys, sick. give it up for both of these guys. They're giving us such a good set. Tishimon! He knows how to make it exciting. He knows how to make an exciting set of Tekken. This is some good ass Tekken. Wow. That was, that was amazing. How many times did he make a comeback with his rage drive? I don't know. It's just... I don't have enough fingers on my hands <laughs> to count them. <laughs> you could use, even if you use mine, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> there we go, guys. Final match. We are in... Is that Italy? We're in Italy Duomo as well. Duomo di Serio. Dimo, oh. Duomo di Serio. So Bellissimo. We are in Tishimon's home turf, guys. Give it up. <laughs> Final match here between Lohai and Tishimon. EU, Let's go. EU versus Korea. Here we go. Nice block on the sliding. No punish. Still oh. got a counter hit. Launched. Let's go to the wall. Yes. Lohai's gonna get some good damage here. Down for one. Bam. 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 I like the combo. Unfortunate there from Tishimon not getting a punish on that, and Lohai taking wow. full advantage of it. Oh my God. Doesn't he is angry. Good. Yeah, yeah. Angry Lohai. Still no. Seven golden letters. Here we go. Not that was a nice aggression from Lohai that round. Yeah, okay. definitely. Just trying to take the initiative, mm -hmm. set the pace of the match. Down three. Okay, good jabs. Okay, nice block. Oh, could have been punished a bit harder, I think. Oh, he's waiting for the hop kick. There we go! Yeah. Nice patience from Tishimam. Yeah, finally blocking those hop kicks. Mm -hmm. Nice. Whip that was a sick backdash. He got a slide as well. And let's Ooh, go! Counter hit! Counter hit. Evening up around. Tishimam feeling himself. There we go. Shaking his shoulders. Let's go. And a slide again, and it's perfectly placed for the full launch. Can he take it to the wall? Not quite. Just misjudged it and gets counter hit. Get That's up. the second time he's got hit by that. I think Let's the forward, go. forward, forward would have done it. He just misjudged it. Okay. Punish that. Perfect. Good punish. Got nice. Blocked. Ball standing two. Here we go. Low he's going to break the balcony. Okay. Nope. But he goes for the. Yeah, he's going to break it. Yes. He's going to break it. What does he do here? Slidey? No. Oh, no. Not quite. Not reach Not this time. Out. That's nice. Tishimon better all. Punish. But no biscuit. Here we go. Final round here potentially for Lohai to move on and eliminate Tishimon. Here we go. I want to see a final round. I want to see, see a final, final round. round. Again, final round. Rage art, rage drive with a slow motion. Please. Please, Tishimon, deliver. Got to launch. The classic, the Tishimon. While signing two, the move he's known for. Huge damage for him. Okay. Halfway uh -huh. life. Uh -huh. Almost there. Poking him away. Uh huh. Lohai on the defense. What's he going to do? <laughs> nice oh, the, ah, yes. As if. Okay, nice win punish. Final, final round, guys. Make some noise. Tissue on versus low high. Let's I'm jumping get it. in my seat. Look at that. Down four at one. Really good. One plus two throw. Not finally broken. Finally breaking it. Using that one plus two throw. Finally. Okay. Try to go for the orbital. Didn't go. Nice punish. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Okay. He knows the combo. All right. Bish bash bosh. <gasps> okay. Ooh, low punish high. Again. He's making all the right reads here. Oh, oh no, kick. Kick. Is this going to be it? Yes, no. it is. And low high taking it in the final round. Wow. What a set. That was a sick set. Very, very good set. Unfortunately, Tishimon going through, uh, going home. But what a match, though. What, what amazing matches he's given us. All his matches were, were perfect. Were yeah. beautiful, beautiful taking. 
I mean, Lohai played out of his mind, but Tishimon as well. But Tishimon just couldn't close it out. Let's give it up for Tishimon, guys. He's given us so much entertainment. A legend in Europe and around the world. And I'm sure he's going to be back. Yeah. And giving us some more good ass Tekken. Wow. Wow, that man. Was good. <laughs> that, that was good. good. I, I just want to just say, it, say nothing. I just want to watch Tekken. I just want to watch Just let it sink in. Let it sink in. Yeah, so let's talk about that match a little bit. It was very back and forth. But, you know, at, the, at that last round, uh, Lohai did, you know, like he used the 1 plus 2 throw finally. He didn't use a lot of throws no. that entire set. So bringing out the slides and the throws in the last round, which mm -hmm. he didn't do the entire set, kind of threw Tishimon off a little bit, changing it up. That just shows Lohai's experience in the short set game. I agree. I agree completely with that. You know, Shaheen is a really good character with the slide. He didn't even have to use the slide. He could just, just tread and just twitch duck and just make him uh, scared. But Yeah, I mean, oh boy. Oh go. boy, oh boy, here we go. So, it's the brother, Love Neat. From all, India. All the way from India, going up against Crazy Super Akuma. From France. Now, Super Akuma said something. He made a, a, li a list of characters that he doesn't like to play against. Who was the, what was the one character that he doesn't like to play against? He said, he has said that he doesn't like the Jack matchup. I mean, I don't oh, know. Oh, really? But do, do you know who mains Jack? I have a feeling that someone up there <laughs> may have a Jack. But, you know, who knows? We've seen him use Josie as well. Yeah, that's uh, true. Josie is super solid, but it looks like he's gone to Jack. Mm -hmm. Let's see how Super Akuma Ooh. responds. He plays with button bindings on stick? That's interesting. Yeah, you don't usually see that, do you? No, I, I, I assume if you play on stick, you just use the normal layout. But hey, man, Indian tech, man. Indian tech. That must be the Indian tech. You know, just these guys in India, they're good at tech. They're very good at tech. <laughs> don't underestimate these guys. Okay, all the way from India, love neat. Traveling so far to come to Poland, coming up against one of Europe's finest, Super Akuma. Make some noise, guys. It's going to be a crazy set. Here we go. Love Neat versus Super Akuma. We're going to the jungle outpost. Man, I can't call this one. I really can't. Love Neat has played so solid throughout the day, only losing to uh, a Korean. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm curious about myself. You know, this is also loser side action, so there's a lot more stakes on the line. There's a lot to play for. Wow, oh, down for two straight off the bat. Beautiful down for two. At the wall. No, no, doesn't get the wall. Not quite. No. Now, uh, I believe that Super Akuma should be relatively uh, used to the matchup since he plays against Guni quite often. Guni, yeah. if you guys don't know, is the is a very solid Jack player, one he of is. the best in France, who beats Naps nine rounds straight in the last tournament. That's correct. Very, he very solid player. Germany. Yeah. That was last week. Nobody expected it to happen. No one did, but, but here yeah. we have oh. Love Neat. Love Neat is a different type of Jack player. Everyone that has talked about Love Neat has said, look, this guy's Jack is weird. That is the number one thing that people weird. say. Weird. Weird. Which to me is, translates to different. Different. Yes. It is. Oh, nice. Oh, he did really? It. The range? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Great blocking here from, uh, from Love Neat. I don't know how Love Neat's matchup is against uh, Akuma. Well, you know, he's got Jack, he's got the perfect character for it. He's nice got a debug. Jack. That's good. Okay. And it, you know, it only takes one hit from Super Akuma. Yeah, there we got one bar. <laughs> yep, here we go. You can spend it. How is he going to get... I want to see this damage. Break the balcony. Bam, bam. No, oh, no. he missed it. Oh, spins his bar, doesn't do anything. Oh, my nice. God. Goes nice. Goes right under that. Indeed, nice comeback here by crazy Super Akuma from Super France. Super Akuma on the board. Down four. Oh, the sweet. Sweep is unreactable. What? Oh, catches him ducking. He ducked. What's he going to do? Bam. bam. Oh, oh okay, combo. just a single bam. Okay, no problem. But it's okay. Still got the ball pressure. Yeah. Jackson had to try and get his way, his way out of there. Good duck on that string. Wow. Oh, no. Chunks. Oh. Pineapple chunks. The down four. Okay. Good duck. What's he going to do? What? The down back one. Sick. And Love Neat clutching it out. Using the right moves at the right time. Love Neat with great timing. Okay, here we go. Good punish. Perfect, yeah. It seems like so many of these punishes are just not in range, you know, no. with uh, Akuma's seemingly short limbs. Wow, he's even got to the wall carry and the damage. Uh, two times, plant the seeds. And three, three times. times. Oh. oh boy, seven golden letters. He likes that move. I don't see another uh, uh, other jack players utilize that move more. The down two, the, the, yeah. the down jab. Yeah, we don't see it. No. Very, very particular to Lovely, but it's worked for him all day. Exactly. Super Kuma, he's now going to think hard. Stage think hard. We're going. Oh, how many Super times have we seen this stage? Oh. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Not enough. Yalla Habibi. Yalla, <laughs> yalla Habibi. We're going to the Saudi Arabian stage. 
Love need one game ahead. Yes, and of course this stage, of, um, a, a bit of a weird one since you start at an angle, which means that anyone that gets a launch is likely to find the wall. Very, very likely to find the wall. And it both these characters have s tremendous wall pressure. Exactly. It's, it's not that big of a stage. You know, no. you can get from one wall to another wall relatively easily. Yeah. Right, let's get into it, lads. Love Neat versus Super Akuma. 1-0 right now for Love Neat. Here we go. Jack versus Akuma. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, just trying to use that down for a kid. Okay. A good, a good counter hit. There we go. As you said, we're going to the wall. Yeah. Pow. Oh my god, it can oh, re-wall splat! Oh, he tried to go for it, but... Not quite. Oh, I love me, just stay, stood there in place. Okay, so it looks like a lot of these um, moves that Lovely is using are just at that range where Akuma just can't use his wall signing too. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Love the whole really punish. <laughs> punish with the top four. <laughs> okay. Nice, catches him ducking. So Akuma does have a 14 frame launcher with back one. Mm -hmm. The combo is a little bit difficult, it, but not, a, yeah. not yeah. so much for... Two, for um, for Super Kuma. And for hitbox players, maybe in general. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Down for oh, two, man. Beautiful. Fearless. Towards the wall. Ace was oh my what god, he mean? recovered crouching so it didn't launch him. Okay, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Okizemi. Oh, he missed. Whips. Didn't do anything. Yeah, he sidestepped. Wasn't ready for it. No. Head plus frames. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh no, he dropped the combo it. again. Maybe nerves coming out here, Willie. It's execution. Eh? Your, your execution has to be on point to do those combos with Akuma. He's got to calm himself. Wow, tip range. The range on that down for two. Big arms. Oh, and, and the, the jackhammer as well. Ugh. Okay, so Super Akuma dropping some combos there. That would have been his round if he managed to do the right combo. And lovely spacing really nicely. And going for those cheeky little lows. They do a lot. You know, just they, do, they do add on. Oh, and and again. again. He drops. Nerves must be coming in here. Yeah. It's losers finals. Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me, top 16 losers, so... Yeah, all to play for. Mm -hmm. Oh, over. Oh they my like god, again. A lot of whiffs here from Lovely, but... Uh, you could just do a two jab. Not capitalizing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, whiff to the front from one. Jackhammer. Oh! Okay. Can break that. What? Or did he press a button? No, no he, he didn't. didn't. And a good punish. Okay, Super Akuma staying alive. Okay. Okay. One more run for him to even up the set. I don't understand the reason behind it, but it must be a reason. Okay, oh, nice. perfect. A bit too many jumps and love me with the two jab. <laughs> I've wow. never seen that before. Nice. Maybe that's a regular tech in India. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's the thing. You know, international players where from countries we haven't seen, maybe they have other tech, like the South Americans. Yeah, we, we saw the South that. Americans last year. Yeah. Last game was crazy. Nice duck. Pow! To the wall. Oh, yes. Okay. Re wall splat. Other wall. Yes, other bam, wall. Bam, bam. Pow. Chakuru. Nice damage. Oh, oh okay. we still got him. Okay, okay. What's what? Is that going to be punished? No. Bam! And Super Kuma stays alive. Look at that. Stays <laughs> 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 there. Oh, he's wild. Look at that hair. Look Luscious that. hair. What shampoo is he using? Wow, love needs. Love needs. So Two times in a row, the, the rage art. And he has got a wallless stage this time. Get ready for the what do you think of it? I don't know. I what mean, do you think about it? the wall combos we just saw from Super Kuma literally just now mm -hmm. seem to be pretty damaging versus Jack. Um, and <laughs> th you know, but anyway, you think down three is good either way. You yeah. know, let's see. I think this is going to work more in favor of Love Neat than uh, Super yeah. Kuma. Super Kuma just have to... But can the crowd hype them up, guys? Make some noise. Here we go. Another final match here. India versus France EU. Let's get it. Love Neat versus Super Akuma. Here we go. Wallace stage. Nice down for two. Oh, okay. really? So many moves Pow. hit him out of Demon Flick. It's crazy. And again. And it's still got... Wow. So okay. much aggression here from uh, Love Neat straight yeah. off the bat. Okay, now he's backing off. Okay, got hit by the low. Plus frames. Oh, oh here we go, mixing it up now. Now they're back even in life. No punish. No, no, not, a, not a correct punish. Not the correct punish, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Down down, uh, no, two, two jab, two like two I said. Jab. Super, yeah. super good, yeah. Oh, <laughs> what's Whoa! that? That's sick. Take it, seven tech. Here we Swag. go. Swag. France tech. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, get nice, off. Get off. He's got rage now. Got to be careful. Super Kuma, 16 seconds from the clock. Okay, good block. Big whip. And this uh, should be it. No. One hit. Okay, Joe goes for the mid. 
He's shaking this his head every match. Oh yeah. What conditioner is he using? <laughs> Here we go. Front oh, front here front. we nice. go. Counter hit. And just gets a bar of meter pa. as well. Pa. 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 The French crowd is loving it. <laughs> Everyone's loving it. Oh my god. Oh, he tried oh. to jab again. Yes, but that is the option to beat jab. Okay. Then in that case, he should sidestep to the left. Nope. In that case, duck it, like just like he did there. Oh, okay. So the deep mind games here from Demon Flip. All right. Be careful. He's got <laughs> still got two bars. He used it again. Oh! Oh, oh the jab! God. Super Akuma making all the right reasons. I see Yuki in the crowd getting hype. He wants his homeboy to win. I understand that. C'est magnifique. C'est bon. Wow. Okay, nice. Good stuff. I'm loving it. Using that two jab again. I'm liking it. What? Doesn't get anything out of it though. Blue sparks. All right. Again, no punish on back. Oh, okay. but doesn't matter. Will it again a drop? It's so hard to do to execute that uh, juggle. Oh no, down four two. That's actually not punishable. Oh, crushes him. <laughs> oh, no. is this it? No, no, no. Not he yet. hasn't got meter. One mix up. Okay. Oh, and there oh, it is. Up. Super Akuma. Making wow. the comeback and Love Knee, unfortunately, eliminated, eliminated from, the, from yeah. the tournament. But wow. what a strong showing from him. And shout outs to everyone from India. But wow, what a match. Yeah, but shout outs to the Indian Tekken scene. Yeah, man, wherever you guys are wow. watching from, man, this has been a crazy tournament, guys. He's been, he's been traveling a lot. You know, he's been to uh, a couple of Asian tournaments, and this is his first tournament that he's been to in Europe. I would like to see him also in an American tournament. I would love it. But you know, it's not easy for a lot of these uh, Asian players to, to make it out. You know, there's a lot of strong players in Pakistan, in India, and they're not able to make it out because, you know, the visa issues are kind of hard. Yes, you know, And I Lovely agree. has signed up for a lot of tournaments. He, he, he has the intention to go to a lot. I want to see him more, but it's hard for these Indians and Pakistanis to travel. So it's a blessing to be able to see them in action. Yes. So we, we really should be grateful for Lovely to making all the trouble to get here. Yeah, absolutely. But Super Kuma moving on. Very, very good match. Wow. And like I said, uh, well, like he said, they met each other back in Q8 in, uh, in the Tekken World Tour event there. And yeah, they always wanted to play each other. It was a really great um, like, um, adaptation he made because yeah. the two jab is really good versus Demon Flip, but if you do Demon Flip it's one, got a mix up. it, it counter hits you. Oh, I yeah. see. Which is what happened, yeah. It yeah. was very good adaptation, but either way, that's over. Super Kuma moves on. Now we have another doozy of a match. What we got, Wheelie? Oh. What we got? On the left, you see District G, Kanan Trench representing the UK, and on the right, who do we have there? We have Mr. Rock's Dragon Chanel. With his Jigglypuff hat. I like that hat. A Jigglypuff? Jigglypuff on that hat. I need that hat. Get oh. me that hat. It's a pretty cool hat, man. Wow. And his long hair. He also got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair. Who's got better hair? Who's got better hair? Chanel or Super Kuma? Ooh, it's that's a hard one. That's a hard one. <laughs> it's a hard let, one. Let, let's, let, let, let Twitter decide it. Yeah, we can let the uh, people at home decide. Tweet us, <laughs> let us know who do you think's <laughs> got the best hair in, uh, in this tournament? Chanel or Super Kuma? Here we let's go. See. <coughs> So Kane and Trent sticking with uh, Yoshimitsu. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything different from from no. uh, Yoshi uh, from Kane unless it's a really big blow up. He has a Miguel in his pocket. Miguel, yes. But um, the real question is, who is Chanel going to use? Well, he's hovering over Alyssa, so I'm assuming Alyssa. But they like to troll us. You know, they got their headsets on, but they can hear us. <laughs> and if we say Alyssa, he's not going to pick Alyssa. He's going to pick someone else. But, hey, but he has. He's gone with Alyssa, and you know, he has done way better with Alyssa than he has with you know Eliza, Eliza, and and Akuma. So. He's not messing around now. The, no. Chanel wants to make it through and yes. make a statement. But here we go. Another UK versus Korea. Kane and Trench versus Rocks Dragon Chanel. This is the UK versus South Korea. Here we go. This is also loser side action. It is loser side action as well, which is crazy because both of these guys could have very easily been in winners as well. Exactly. Well, Kane and Trench will be the first player to eliminate a Korean player from this tournament. Wow. Imagine that. Let's go. He still has the capabilities to do so. Now, one thing I was thinking about is that, you know, uh, Kane and Trench played against Kudans and Chanel, and both these guys are very, very close with me. Yeah. I wonder if they analyzed Kane's, um, you know, Kane play style. Yes, and yes, and yes, me yes. must, having, yeah. what? having made such a good comeback, let's see. Yeah. Oh, Doesn't gosh. seem like uh, <laughs> it helped a lot. But oh, still oh, 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 seven golden letters. Wow. Kane and Trench looking good. Kane and Dench. Okay, Two pokes in a row. poking away. Okay. Yeah, this is one of Elisa's strength. Elisa is a very poke heavy character. Yes. She always has been. She is. All right, got hit by the second hit. Kind of down for one, two, four. Oh, a nice duck. And, and Yoshi gets a lot of damage from his while standing mm. launcher. Bam, bam. That's a wall. Pow, pow. Ah, nice. Follow up. Low. Oh, sidestep. Oh, side roll. Wow, Excuse what me. a combo. 
tiny he didn't continue to come because he knew he would drop it. Yeah. That's also, that rage awareness. drive. Rage uh, drive very, very strong because it does high crush. Okay. Down three. Very dangerous move to use. Just one or two more hits. Can do it. Let's see how Kane responds. He has a life deficit. Nobody wants to commit. Oh! That's yeah. punishable. Ooh. Kane knows. Rage drive. What's the mix up? Nice! Oh. Oh. <laughs> the patience from Kane and Trench. And the reactions. Wow. This boy is serious. Down forward, 1-4. Right. Okay, nice poke. Again, a great start. Good nice. block. Yeah, good block. And again, Kane not going to get a big punish on that. So maybe a move that Chanel should use more. Yeah. But he still reacted to it. You know, he blocked yeah. it. I wonder what that was. Wow. That delayed hop kick. Oh. Whoa, the flash. There we go. Back to two. Oh. Interesting he doesn't go for the back two one. He thought it was closer to the wall. That's why he did the back to two, I assume. It's so close here. Nice. He's got access to rage again. Oh. oh, punish! One hit away. And there again! Three rounds straight for Kane and Trench! Kane and Trench, the Korean killer in action right now. Is he gonna eliminate Chanel? What does he do now? What is the plan of action for Chanel? Chanel what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Change character or change stage? To the oh, we're <laughs> here. Nope, he's gonna stick with Elisa. Uh, we've gone to a wall the wallless stage. I think that works in favor of uh, Elisa. I don't know. I don't know if it works in favor of anyone. Both these guys are very, very good at poking. Mm -hmm. I think this is, it's just going to come down to who's the more solid player. Okay. Go on, guys. And make and some noise. This guy, this is a crazy set as well. Can Kane take out Chanel or is Chanel going to progress through? This is loser bracket action as well. All to play for. Here we go. Yoshimitsu versus Lisa. Yoshi actually looks sick in this game. I, Yoshi, you know, I, every this is game, it's always good to see one. how Yoshi's design changes. I think Yoshi looks sick in this game. This is in my top three Yoshi designs of all the Tekken series. Number one being Tekken 3, of course. Of course, of that's course. obviously. That's, that's just the rule. It's law, it's nature. Yeah. And uh, Chanel off to a quick start again, using that down three and mixing it up. Got the low pokes. Yeah, great punish on 4-4-4 four, four, four as well. Good yeah. with punish. Oh. Yeah, can't test Kane's, Kane's reactions. Oh, 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 got hit by the rage drive. He wasn't expecting to hit. Oh, he dropped the combo though. Okay. All right. And Kane, just and like that. Look at that. The health is back in favor of uh, Kane and Trench. Okay. Such great patience shown from Kane. Can he finish it though? He's not going in. He's not committing too much. A simple poke. And then down for once. Very simple. Oh. Nice block. Oh, but he, that's a high. He yeah. could have just ducked. Yeah, wow. no, he wasn't ready for it. He thought no. he was just going to do that and got hit. Yes. That was a really good choice by Chanel. Yeah, we've seen the Koreans have just their, their ability to clutch has been crazy. Every time they have a life deficit and the other opponents are about to win, they're just so good. Excellent duck on that 40 frame launcher. Wow. And you just see how much damage Yoshi gets off that launcher. It's quite insane. Okay. How does Chanel answer back now? Yeah, He's got Chanel? range. Quite close. Oh, goes for the mid. Yep. Okay, back one. Super safe. Oh, oh what? Okay, nice. Use those low pokes. I like, I like that he wants to end it with a down for one. He doesn't want to get counter hit. That's yeah. the one thing he doesn't want to do. Now he's by the low. One plus two throw, not broken. Boom, okay. rockets. One hit away, both of them. Oh, great strike. That oh, was right. sick. Key charge. That was Ooh. banging. Oh my <laughs> days, that was sick. That was some high level Korean tank. Yeah. Okay, side step. Here we go. So Chanel ah, now up. Nice block, no punish. Yeah, no launch. Oh. Chanel feeling a bit, feeling himself a little bit more. His movement is waking up now. Did that crush his move? Nope, sidestep. He's sidestepping really well, and Kane is not looking so good right now. He doesn't. And there goes his resources. Almost three rounds straight for Chanel, making the comeback, doing to Kane and Trench what he did to him. Yep. Three rounds straight. Maybe. Maybe he can make a comeback. Chanel has. There it is, the down four. And three rounds straight on to back for Chanel. Evening it up, 1-1. One, one. Even though it was three rounds, they were wow. very close ma very close rounds there for Kane. Exactly, exactly. So he now has to think, what's going to happen? Where are we going? We're going to... The Devil's Pit! Of course, it always has to be, doesn't it? The perfect stage for a final match here between UK and Korea. Super excited for this. Yeah. Oh. I want to see another final round. Yeah. I want to see if Kane and Trench is able to knock him out. I think I've lost like five years of my life here, just from these final round matches.
I'm not even lying, man. <laughs> Fine, I got great. I'm gonna get great hairs, man. Yeah, I got it's 2020 right now. <laughs> right, let's get into it. Here we go. No change of characters. They shouldn't. These are their mains. These are their strongest characters. They know how to play them. Fight. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. chainsaws coming out now. Okay. Chainsaws again. Current hit launch. Yep, that good. Sweep that. Dangerous sweep that you talked about earlier. Yeah, catching uh, Elisa, pressing some buttons. Down three hasn't been blocked once. Wow, nice block on that though. It's so fast and silly was able to block. Oh, he could have just finished the screen. Good low parry. Yep. Screw. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Near the wall. And Bob again. Bar. Do it again. Oh. Nice hop kick. Chanel completely knew that that was coming. Do it again. And the low. Wow. Is yeah. Kane entrance being pre predictable right now? Is I don't think it's being so predictable. It's more not really blocking too okay. much. Okay. Chanel really good with using the pokes here from Alisa, as you can see. No yeah. throw broken. He, he really wants to get into that close range. Don't okay. calculate the trade out. Okay. Well, guys, trading mid hits. Oh, sidestep! Wow. Yeah. Catches Kane and pressing buttons. One more time. So dangerous. Throws out the rage track. No more rage for him. It's going to oh. be really hard for him to make a comeback, but he might do it. One launch could do it. Yeah. Chanel not going to give him the opportunity and the down four again. Now he is on set point to eliminate Kane and Trench and move on. Wow. <laughs> they crushed each other's moves. Nice. Low parry though. All right. But drops the combo. Doesn't get a combo. Oh, got hit by the mid. Okay, oh, goes for the high. Wow. Guess counter hit. This could be it for Kane and Trench. Not looking good. Too good for him. Is this going to be it for our hero or is he going to make a crazy comeback? He is yet to get rage. I'd like to see a crazy comeback. But yeah, he's still two rounds away. Uh, three rounds away, excuse me. Such great spacing yeah. here oh, from nice. Chanel. Nice. Nice. Okay. Down for one. Floats him out of the air. Okay, nice side roll. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds left on the clock. What is going to happen? What's the plan of action? Nobody's got rage now. No! Oh, what's the signal? Interrupted it. You didn't punish. Okay. Punish it. No! That was that was ready to get. Oh. And the break. And the power crush. The power crush. The, the, the back forward two. Yeah. And Kane and Trench eliminated from the tournament. What, what a great set from them two as well. Kane showing that he can really bring it to these Koreans. But Chanel yeah. just too strong. Chanel Again, too a, strong. a pet. A person I think, a person I think is very underrated in in, in just general Tekken, Chanel. Chanel. Yeah, because Chanel hasn't that? ever had those. He hasn't had the big win. Did he ever win a tournament in the Tekken World Tour season? I, I mean, I don't know. He he's always had to go up against like me or like you know some uh, really other strong yes. player. But he's he hasn't been given the credit he deserves because he's always so consistent. He's always in those top threes and top fives. You know, he really wants that win. But he needs that he win. He needs that win. Some it's people important. have that issue where they just haven't got the win, but they're always so consistent. And today could be his day. Who knows? I am a believer in Chanel. I think he's really, really solid. Yeah. But Kane and Trench, of course, um, going home. I say that was loser bracket action, but he will be taking home some points. It's yeah. not all doom and gloom. No, it's not. You know, Kane and it's and a Trench master event too, so it's a lot of points. A lot of points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? We, which rankings get points? Top I mean, I think the top, top 32 60? get points in a master event. Yeah, I believe so. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kane and Trench. I mean, at the end of the day, this is all about getting points, you know, and the experience. The experience. I think the experience is the most important part. That's where you learn a lot. From. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, I mean, experience is super, super important. And I think Kane and Trench is only going to get better from this. So let's see. He's got great attitude. Let's see how he moves on. But right now, we have James ready with Chanel. Take it away. Oh, I am certainly ready. Chanel, he's clapping away. It was an interesting game to start off with. You dropped the first set, but it looked like you might have changed character. What made you stick with it? Uh, I speak English. Uh, really? Sorry. Um, Yoshi, Yoshi, um, Alisa. Many, many, many Yoshi strong. Alisa. Sorry, sorry. We get two legends on him, so this can work. This can certainly work. 
I like the teamwork. He said, uh, Arisa is a bad matchup, Yoshimitsu, because Flashy. Yeah, Flashy is uh, almost uh, <coughs> depends uh, later. Flashy is a punish. Yeah, so he is uh, very difficult. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, we get both. So, one other question. <laughs> we got to keep him here. He can't go anywhere. So, next up, you're going to be facing Joey or Fergus. Which one do you expect to face? And which one would you rather face? Asuka. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Well, we'll have to see how that's going to go. It's going to be the next games coming up. We are nearly at top eight. This is starting to get hype. We're seeing the Europeans try and make it through. We're guaranteed one non-Korean in the next matchup, so let's see how it goes. Thank you to both of you for getting that done. Another round of applause, and let's get back to the games. Wow. What amazing translator, Nee. Yeah, right? Great Superman. translation, and wow. great to see that camaraderie as well. But I I'm joking around, but it's really hard to be a foreigner and you know, English is not your main language. I mean, English isn't your main language no, either. It isn't. No, it's, it's yeah. even hard for me. Yeah. So to do an interview and reply in English, that's 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 good. It stuff. should be something that should be applauded. You yeah, know, we take it, it for granted applauded. a lot. You know, the English and. But of like course. they said, like they said, it's gonna be either Fergus or Joey Fury. Oh my lord! We the, got these guys have played twice before in tournament. Yes. Back at the World Finals, Joey Fury took it over Fergus. Back in final round, Fergus took it over Joey Fury. And now it's the third time, Ireland versus USA. Fergus versus Joey Fury. Guys, make some noise! <coughs> wow. Woo! They're, all, they're currently 1-1. One, one. And this time, Joey going for Paul. He went for Jack in the previous matchups. Let's see how Fergus responds. Let's go. How does UYU they... versus Circa, Joey Fury. Okay, nice duck. Okay. This is a sick song as well. Good right? song, good song. Okay, 1-1 one, one swing. Sidestep, down 4-2. Yeah, perfect sidestep. That is the way you want to sidestep Asuka. Sidestep to the right. Simple combos for Paul. I, I say we're going to see some really good aggression here from Joey Fury. Oh, bam, nice. bam. Bring the wall. Going to do another wall? Oh, yes, bring combo it. video. Oh, it's a bit too far away. Okay, got low. Front two. And again. Not one more. Oh, the aggression. Point. Ooh. Ooh. Joey Fury with the first round. Uh, Fergus nice was a bit aggression. Yeah, well, Fergus was a bit greedy that round. Yeah. Okay. Interrupted then. Fergus trying to mount his own offense, trying to stay in that close range. Doesn't want to deal. Okay. Paul is such a strong character though, right? Yeah, uh, very of that. good tournament fireball character, as you said. Just a simple dead fish can do a lot. The car hits. Here we yeah. go. Oh, what? Uh, no break on the one plus two throw. He was. He was uh, shocked as well as me. Yeah, so I said two, doesn't fall for it. Nope. Here we go, Joey Fury though. Okay. Backing off a little bit, trying to find his opening. Doesn't need much. Single launch can do it. So I said two. Okay. Wow, sidestep, but didn't get it. Okay, both these guys trading a lot, but no one really getting hit. No, no. No duck on the down forward, 1-1. One, one. 16 left, seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it's really hard to find an opening for both these players. Nice low what parry. A low parry. There we go, Joey Fury got it. One hit away. Oh, and got the hit string. We said before that, um, you know, Joey Fury's poke, his ability to use those pokes are, is really good. It's not just a 50-50. There you go again. It's exactly what he did versus JDCR. Pop. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Sidestep side two step again. Two. Such a strong move. Yeah. And again, the sidestep. Sidestep right versus Asuka. Super solid. Joey Fury when ready for the matchup. And when straight into the hop, it's wow. Okay, good throw break. That was a one break. Command throw even. Wrist dip, but wow. no biscuit. Joey Fury, three rounds straight versus Fergus. How will he respond? The Americans in the chat applauding right now. USA, USA. USA, free you. Hashtag, we all know it. <laughs> we all know but it. I wonder what Fergus is thinking. Here. Is he going to stick with Asuka or go for maybe Katarina? Welcome. Katarina, we know, is pretty good versus Paul. Is he going to do it? He's thinking he's hard. Over it. He's thinking hard. He's looking at the crowd. He wants the crowd's input. Katarina is a bit stronger versus Paul, I think. What? He Link? also has a Ling as well. He plays all the waifus. And he's got it with Katarina. Katarina. Now, you play Katarina. I do. What do you think of this matchup? I think it's good. I think that the, the Death Fist can be easily punished consistently with up back four. 
Katarina. I think her 444 really makes you want to play a little bit more patient because you don't want to get counter hit. If you get counter hit by 444, cat, 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 then cat, you're going to get hit for a lot of damage, especially with the wall. Wow. So here we go. And I know that, you know, I, I personally believe that Katarina is. Fergus is second best player, the character. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Katarina, from Kat all the characters that he played. Because he, she's a relatively new character. Yeah. And to wow. say that she's already one of uh, his best characters. He has put in time, but let's see if Joey Fury will be able to deal with this. Let's go. He's able to play a bit more offensively now as well, because the, uh, Asuka is more of a defensive character. Oh, and here we go. 4-4, four, four. here we go. To the wall. Ha ha ha. Look at the I damage. Like that really. laugh. I like that laugh. Oh, nice interrupt. Okay. Here we go. Pressure, pressure. Look at the pressure. Nice duck. And immediately we're seeing Fergus play a lot better. And it's because he has more offensive options. And that 444 giving him so much damage. Right. Hulk what? kick. So sick. Bam, bam. And That's again. Ha, ha, ha. Fergus, he's like, when you do that stomp, you have to go, yes. 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 Here we go. A back four. Punish. Yes, absolutely. Good. Very consistent punish. That has huge range. Here we okay. go. Mix up time. One more. Oh my god, like you said, good punish. He can punish that Death Fist and Demo Man consistently. Yeah, and he's noticing that Joey Fury is stepping quite a lot after his moves and that back one with such good tracking. Hey, we got two rounds up for uh, Fergus. Okay. Starts off with a heavy low. What do you think of her lows? Her lows are risky but good, okay. in my opinion. You see that full catch, that full Here risky. Go. Here we go. Low pop. Oh, so clutch. What we do? Three, three, okay, three. stop. Oh, I know the trigger. That's a good punish on that. Yeah, very easy. One of the things about Katarina's hopping is it's super easy to punish. Yeah. You can interrupt the follow-ups as well with a 12-frame punish. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Joey Fury on the board now, staying alive. Is it with a neutron bomb? What? Okay, Joey Who Fury. uses that move? Very good at mixing it up. Nice magic four, but doesn't get his uh, combo. Yeah, that's a hard move. To, uh, that's a hard combo to do with. Ooh, that could have been a hop kick, but nice punish either way. Counter, counter, counter hit. hit. That's a launch. Is it going to go to the wall? Not close quite. to it. In the corner. Was close. Ooh. Back one. Oh, Lose. this is going to be heavy no. Lose. He didn't do the guaranteed hit. And Not again. again. Establishing oh. his dominance. Here the we go. Global throw. Will you, Fergus? Look at that crowd. He wants this. Evening rounds, final round. Oh my god, what are you looking at? These guys always have such great sets, and I think the Cat Arena pick was vital. You know, uh, something I've told Fergus to do is, you know, he, he's so talented. He's yeah. so good with so many characters. He Everybody, is. of course, knows he streams on Twitch. He has a very, very popular stream in Europe. And we've seen he is so good at so many characters. Maybe he should try to counter pick sometimes. You know, it's worked out for him. But is he going to go to Jack? It's working out for him. Is he going to go to Jack? What are we going to see? Still offering over Paul. Joey Fury. Thinking but a Paul. Jack, I think a ja his Jack might be better. Yeah. And there we go. And you know, one thing I think is that Katarina is also pretty good versus Jack too. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, the forward forward one can be a bit of an issue. Uh, Katarina's kind of hits are really good. I don't know. I just, I personally think it's a good matchup, but Joey Fury is a different kind of beast. Yeah. Guys, let's make some noise. EU versus USA final <laughs> match. Fergus versus Joey Fury. And this is loser side action. So either the only Irish representative will go through or the only American representative will go yeah. through. Yeah. This is loser bracket action wow. as well. This is crazy. All on the line now. We are in Yahabibi land, Saudi Arabia. Let's go. How many times are we going to hit the stage, Willie? Not enough. Again. <laughs> never, never enough. It's never enough. It's never enough. Here you go. Try to go with the front. Ugh. Okay. Three, wow. three, 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 three. He finished the string. Okay. What? He didn't, okay. he didn't punish it with a 12 frame punish of uh, Jack. Okay. Oh, he presses buttons in between and gets counter hits. Joey Fury with a combo. Okay, Zemi okay. time. Close nice frames. Time. Stay close. Down for two. Nice punish. Excellent punish. Good sidestep. Trade. <gasps> what? Oh. Jumps right over. Oh, I, I could hear the crowd. <laughs> What? Nice jab from Joey Fury, taking the first round. That was wow. huge. Round two. Down for oh. two, out of nowhere. Rag go. To the wall. Yeah, okay. nice. Oh, but oh, misses why? it. You missed it. One, one, though. Look at the chunks. The Pineapple damage. Chunks. Too much. Okay. Doesn't hit them from the 3 3 3. I like the small side steps from uh, Fergus. Wow! It's not working! Joey Fury! His Jackson is just too strong! Here we go. Can Fergus bring it back though? 
It's deep hard. Let's go. Plus frames. Okay. All right. What's that into? Go through, playing a bit more defensive now. Trying to play keep out. Fergus is the one that has to take the initiative to go in. Not a lot of back, down back ones from Joe Fury. The only two I've seen so far. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Oh, wow. Interrupting that throw. Ooh, heavy lows. Another heavy low. Okay. Okay, catches him, duck in. Throw break. That oh, down for a two. Down for a two. Is this going to be it? Bam, yes. and there it is. There it is. Three rounds straight for Joey the jack Fury. of Joey Fury. Wow. Yeah, the jack pick working out for him. Fergus looking a bit disappointed. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, well. this time Joey Fury was a little bit stronger than Fergus. And he moves on into, I believe, was that top eight? Is that easy in top I eight? I think it's top eight right now. Wow. So these wow. guys, I'm sure we're going to see that matchup again. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure Fergus has learned something about this as well. Of course. Learned that in certain matchups, you want to use different characters. You know, someone like Paul who is super, super solid. You know, uh, and, and Joey Fury as a player with really good defense. Asuka can be a very taxing character to use. Mm -hmm. Katarina, of course, had better uh, options versus aggression and just, just better offensive options overall. So uh, I think hopefully Fergus will take some positives out of this uh, in going into the next tournament. You might think it might have been different if he started with Katarina instead of Asuka. Yeah, because if, if he actually won that match, then, you know, Joey made a pick Jack and then in the final match, Maybe yeah, he could have picked uh, Asuka. Asuka again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it was just one of those things, you know. Um, picking the right character is super important. Yeah. It's very important. Sometimes you win or lose at the character select screen. For, uh, you know, oh, that's deep. That's deep. It's kind of, uh, bro, it, we've, <laughs> we've seen it so many times. But yeah, we have our winner all the way from the United States of America with James taking.